Yeah. It's not. Hang on. Did I five finger it? Ah, as I say, instead of a say. Oopsie. There we go. I fix. <clears throat> Who is this idiot? <laughs> Hang on. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, people. People suck. Anyway, what's up? Name's Rack. I'm a coach. This is the rest. How you fucking doing? Oh. Don't get what people are whining about. Look, man, I'm just going to say this clearly. If the Sombra can aim, you will probably take a lot of damage. But since you're hovering around Diamond, I am going to believe that people are just learning Sombra for the first time around you. And, uh, well, that's just going to be fucking painful for them. So. Believe me when I tell you against anyone that can actually, like, do the thing properly. I watched, what's his name? Boger? Boger? Play it last night? I'm probably butchering his name, and I apologize, but watched him play it last night. Like I said, if you can aim, it's fucking easy to kill people.
The new ability basically counteracts my shitty aim. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. That makes perfect sense. Uh, that reminds me, I've got to answer your question. There, I answered your bloody question. Mort. <clears throat> Any of you superstitious about Friday the 13th? Huh? Any Friday the 13th enjoys in the chat? Widow has been miserable. I mean, getting slammed by Sombra's Widow would be funny as hell. Those movies suck, true. Friday the 13th is my lucky day, true. It's not Friday for you, not celebrating that. Look, like I said, I'm the main character in this story. Therefore, it's Friday the 13th. You all are just extras in my story. Just don't forget that. All right? <clears throat> if you'll start forgetting now, then you're never going to remember for later. Reinhardt and Joya. <laughs> Hello. I like your name. You should be here more often. <clears throat> Uh, I say, is it is it puddles? I don't think it's puddles. Puddles is too vain to change away from his actual name, so I think this is a. It's probably Reaper, which is weirder, just purely because of the fact that he's gone from Reaper guy to Reinhardt guy, and that's just sad. I I would bet a solid. Oh, it's Marikami. Oh, even safer. Have you gone to an actual name now? Hello, Marikami. Welcome back, man. Oh, that's good shit. Reinhardt and Joyer is a solid name. I rate it thoroughly. What on earth is that? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's an interesting emote you have there, Invader. I was like, what the fuck is going on in that emote? Oh. But yes, welcome, one and all. I was NPC ID 69 in REM Street. Really? Well, I'd say that's a win. All right, I think we're good. So yeah, did you miss me, chat? Did you fucking miss me? Hey? Hey? Time for everyone's favorite part of X-Men where you try to do the intro and get sidetracked for 40 minutes. Look, to be fair, none of you are saying shit at the moment, so I'm actually safe to just go ahead and do the intro now. So, haha, <laughs> eat shit, nerds. But yeah, in the interest of pure chaos, I have decided once again to forego giving you the cue because it's going to be completed today again. So, yeah, you all can just live with it in random orders and go from there. Um, in saying that, <clears throat> yeah, stuff and junk and that about covers everything so let's get into it so is there anything i had to announce oh yeah um i just want to give a mild apology to yes i got your code didn't i reply that it was added invader if not then well tough titties but yes i got it um i apologize to the to the patreons my current vlog is it's supposed to be out this week, but unfortunately I'm having a bit of a hard time recording it. You'll understand why when it gets released, but uh, yeah, I, it's going to take a lot of my strength to actually go ahead and record this one. So, um, yeah. Bear with me. I didn't? I oh, will too bad. 
I try to reply to everyone. Sometimes it doesn't go through. Is it wrecked doing push-ups? Hey, I can do push-ups, man. It's very fucking painful. Funny enough, it doesn't hurt like anywhere else, like on my body generally to do push-ups, but my wrists hurt like crazy. I could do like weights and shit without too much of an issue, but for some reason it is it is really hard for me to do standard push-ups because my wrists feel like they're going to snap off. So I'm trying to do like wrist exercises to make it a bit better. But fuck it all. It is the it is the most excruciating pain ever. And that's mainly because of the uh the RSI and all that. Isn't that a floor thing? Like if your floor is too hard and stiff, that makes sense. But I'm trying to do it on like triple layered carpet at the moment and it's still not helping. So I understand it when I do it out there. That's part of the issue. That definitely like tracks. But I mean, like I should be able to do some push-ups without struggling, right? Yeah. <laughs> like I've got, like I'm, my chair, because my folks really wanted to preserve the carpet in this room, I'm actually sitting on two separate carpets on top of the other layer of carpet that are here, just so that the chair doesn't put any indents in the carpet below. Um, and yeah, I try to do my push-ups on them and it's just like, I can do like on knees push-ups without too much trouble, but if I do standard push-ups, it feels like my wrists are going to snap off because it's not, it's just, it's, it just feels so hard to like support the weight from all those fucking RSIs and all that. So yeah, just got to, got to sort that out. I'm doing like a hundred a day though. So I'm doing all right. Doing okay for the most part. Chest strength is coming in nicely. Buy new wrists. Where's the money? Huh? Akima, you go missing for like all this time. You don't even come back with any money to give. What the fuck, man? Telling me to buy new wrists. Ashel. What do you think this is? Eh? What do you think this is? My Wait, fuck, it did work. They did distract me again. You're poorer than me. Oh, you shouldn't be making demands. <laughs> it's just making demands, huh? Eh? It's bastard. Anyway, but yeah. Welcome to another edition of The Roast. Poor man's Friday the 13th edition. Uh, I'm Rec. I do coaching because I'm insane enough to do this all for free on stream for you all. So how it works is I take on your VODs and I do... I'm a new student or notorious. No, you're notoriously lazy is what you are. All of you uni students are lazy as fuck and I know it. I synced it. I've synced it. But yeah. So yeah, I do your VOD reviews for free on stream because I'm the last person that's insane enough to do it. If you are wanting to support me in any way, please go right ahead and give me all of your money because it's very helpful. No, but seriously, all your support is appreciated. Thank you very much. Now, <clears throat> as I said, we do all of it. If I send in a VOD right now, will it be included? Uh, maybe. The answer is maybe. Only because it's you, KJ. If it was anyone else, I'd say no. That's true too, but I'm choosing not to acknowledge it. Well, too bad, Akima, mate. Too fucking bad. Too fucking bad, mate. What if I wanted to send one in? You'd have to wait until next Friday. Or sell out. <clears throat> Cop that one. <laughs> Rec likes watching my VODs. Nah, I just feel sorry for you more than I feel sorry for Bacon. Double reverse roast. Yeah! Oh, he's on fire today. Wait, are you not streaming until next Friday? No, I am. <laughs> I'm just specifically telling you that you're going to have to wait till next Friday. That's how toxic I felt like being just for a second there. Because reasons. Appreciate it. No worries, mate. I live to give. I love watching my first one because it makes me physically cringe. I mean, if you like pain, then sure, I guess. Ugh. But yes, this is a... <laughs> uh. But yes, this is a call to you all. If you are enjoying all of this content, feel free to go ahead and support us. It certainly means a lot if you are looking for private coaching you can find all the information on my website rec9.net or in my discord discord.gg slash rex roast you can find all the information there private coaching for all of that fifty dollars for a vod 120 per hour for the per hour who the fuck edited this i just realized that says 120 per hour i should change that that was uh very much pasted into the wrong spot so i have to go fix that later dearie me any wonder people are getting very confused about that so yeah I will uh I will just have to make a note of that. Smile. Ugh, dearie. Alright. 
You got a website now. That's pretty cool. Yes, I do. There's obviously still a couple of template things that need to be fixed. Like, uh, you know, apparently writing 120 per hour in the thing. It was, it was supposed to be pasted out of my Discord. Rec, I can't afford 120. Look, that's reasonable. The actual session. <laughs> The sessions are actually 90 minutes long and it's 120 per session. So yeah, it's not an issue. Do not worry about that. Oh dear. But yeah. Either way. You should enjoy that if you want it. Also, if you want to support me, there's the Patreon, patreon.com slash rec9, because who doesn't love a bit of the content? Yeah, yeah. What's the fuck's that? What's this? Well, let's wait until later. <clears throat> Hello, Zeph. That VOD's probably going in the queue for next week. These drops are kind of cool. Are they? I've not even checked them. Why am I getting added? Oh, yeah, that's right. But yeah. If you, <clears throat> like I said, all VOD reviews that are done will go onto this YouTube channel here. If you're wondering how like that all goes, like I said, they just come through in order, first come, first serve. If you are trying to skip the queue because you're desperate or you just need like VODs done, then uh, it's $20 to donate. You can donate down there. There's a button on the right. You can uh, donate to the stream at any point in time. 20 bucks skips you to the front of the line. Yeah, yeah. It's good. I kind of want to sell it out. Maybe Patreon sell it out. You want, you want to use your Patreon sell out? Zeph? Moit? Is that what's going on? All right. Young Zephyrino will jump to the front of the line because he is Patreon gold like a boss. So yeah, Patreon gold gives you the sell out option. And that's, uh, that's what's fucking going on there, huh? Yeah, yeah. Me, 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 me. So yeah, let's get into it. Where the, where the f is my Overwatch client? All right, Zeph, pull you out of my DMs now. Let's see, Plat to tank, tank, tonk. We're Tonkin. It's the Tonkin. What is this? Hello, boy. Wonder how you doing, what? <clears throat> DPS wasn't working today. True. How's everyone enjoying the new Sombra, by the way? Do you love it or hate it? Hmm? Wreck, I have a... You have a stalker, do you? How so? I can relate, but I will continue to one trick Sombra. True. She exists. True. It's awesome. I feel the power. True. Oh, that was a weird sound. You yeah, alright, Hanzo? Mm. You freaking weirdo. New Sombra is OP, I love it. New Sombra is amazing. She's still cringe. <laughs> you can tell who's on the receiving end of the Sombra and who's enjoying it. By the way, I did not enjoy reviewing so many Hollywood games yesterday, so I would really appreciate it if none of you sent in Hollywood today. No, none of you sent in Hollywood for today's stream, right? Right? I swear to God, if this is a Hollywood game, I'm going to fucking lose it. Oh, thank God. I actually am happy to see Watchpoint Gibraltar. Can you fucking hear it? Uh, can you hear it in my in my fucking voice chat? I actually was happy to see Gibraltar, and I fucking hate this map. 26 minute Hollywood game? No fucking way. Your VOD might be Hollywood. Bro, I did four out of seven Hollywood games yesterday. Can you believe that shit? The first five games, four of them were Hollywood. You're on Nepal? Okay, good. Interrupted hat cooldown is too short. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see it. I see why tanks would hate it. Odds of your VOD being Hollywood is 50 50. It's 50 50. What, did you forget what it was? You're on the new Indian map. You're on Siravasa, right? It's reasonable. All right, Zeph. What have you got for me? Don't need to hold that forever. Those missiles are absolutely useless at range. You have to use them at close range, no matter what. Like, must be essentially meleeing people with it. Nice peel. I am enjoying the peel route that you're taking here. 
Nice kill. Well, they're dead. You can chase him. If you were feeling up for it. Probably not me, but I mean, like, if it was anyone else, it would be right to chase. I mean, now you definitely can kill her. Oh, come on. Surely you kill that. Go! Get Block the door! If you wanted to jump off into the open so that soldier can kill her, that's the way to do it. Young Orisa. That's an int. <clears throat> well done. This is good. We're cutting off territory. That's a kill as well. Come on. All you want to do now, right, in this particular position is just mark the payload so that when anyone goes near it, you can just like, you can just fall down normally and then just fly back up if necessary. And if anyone takes a side angle, then yeah, you just do this very easily. Nice bump. This is a mistake, Zef. Why did you wake her up? Oh, I've never been more confused in my life. Who said that about him being less twitchy? Because he just absolutely, absolutely duffed it just then. He was doing so well until just then. He almost entered away his mech. Oh, God. That Arisa had reflexes. He would have been speared into the wall and killed immediately. Like, you can fall down quickly without using, da like, dash at all and just land on top of the wife lever and just use everything on him. Like, missiles, etc. And he would die. But for some reason, you just keep, like, you know, thinking that you have to dash down or just not, like, worry about this at all. You should have cancelled your dash so you would have landed right on her. It's alright, though. It's a free kill. Despite that. It appears Ash went somewhere, which is weird. Would he die though? He wouldn't die to fucking wife live, not on your life. But yeah, this was 100% doable and was only made worse by the fact that you just had no target priority and just like absolutely wasted it. What do you mean you don't hit at super close range though? Your sense is high enough for you to be able to turn towards your target despite that. That's an absolute lie. Fucking just do it. I don't understand why you are just incapable of cancelling your own dash, because you keep putting yourself in the weirdest spots imaginable despite that, and you're not ready to matrix anything. It's just a waste. Just a waste. Oops. Just an utter sad waste. Well, uh, there's no real reason to do that then, is there? Man, I wish... I really need to figure out what it is that causes my shit to randomly alt-tab away from from my game. It keeps happening, and it really annoys the hell out of me. If anyone can help me figure out that problem, I will be thankful. My game just randomly alt-tabs a lot. Feel like it's a Windows 11 thing? Don't know how to fix it. That is definitely not because I have Mouse Excel turned on. You do not need to shield them. They are in cover. And you're not. Likely because of a program you have open. The only program that it ever does it with consistently would be Discord. And I've got no fucking clue as to why. Like, if I have everything shut... It used to do it, like, very often with Windows Explorer open. But I don't have it open right now. Unless it's because I have fucking Notepad open. Which would be a bit stupid. Yours does that with Spotify. That's weird. You beat Bloodborne. Congrats, mate. 
Does that include Orphan, or did you? Oh, oh, is it just the main game you've beaten? Bloodborne's a fucking beautiful game, honestly. You're at Orphan right now. I wish you the best of luck, and I hope you can deal with the screaming. <laughs> Shield. Break. I don't understand why we didn't ulti right after she finished spinning. Because, like, when this happens, I don't understand. Like... Hang on. Lady Maria is hard if you don't have any, like, ability to time shit. When she uses spin, is there any reason why you don't just activate shield and just ulti fucking those two right in front of you? I don't understand it. Like, it's it's such a free shot. Like, you can literally get the three of them in your ulti by just running straight forwards after this happens. The, like, it, Suzu doesn't last long enough inside grav to actually keep them alive. I would have been worried about Arissa eating it, but like, get straight in. Dude, parrio with a shotgun. Bro, I am so bad at parry timing, it's not funny. <laughs> but yeah, I get you. Give me your food, Meg. All of it. Give me all the food. Overvalue the scissor. It does not last long enough. It's more of a debuff cleanser than it is an invulnerability. But yes, hi and bye, Meg. Send picture of food. Thank you. I swear, Zef, all of the issues you have are just purely mentality. Just... Are we going to get by without using a single defensive? Alright, guess we are. Horsey gang. I don't want to give you the food as mine. Too fucking bad. It's part of your contract. You want your what? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, Beck? You spin to get that far. So yeah, we didn't fortify at all. He didn't fortify this time either. What the hell, man? My uni meal hall boiger. Good old boigers. Loves a good boiger. I'm not sure if this is a bug, but a cat gets triggered and Sombra TP happens after you die during TP. Wait, are you not invulnerable during TP anymore? Really? For realsies? Yeah, I know usually you are, but are you not now? Oh, no. Oh, it's just not Captive Sun. You sure it wasn't just a timing problem? Test it again. I'm 90% sure, right? The, if you, it's the AoE explosions from other people, you, you can dodge it. But I think the debuff counts as a... Um, like, like a dot... Because dots still affect Sombra by memory, despite that, don't they? Having a hard time deciding what to play against their team. I mean, you were fine with anything you've been playing so far. The problem is not so much the characters, it's just more what you're doing. Dots fall off, true. It's a bit odd that the fucking debuff would stay then. I just figured it was just a dot thing, because dots have been 50-50, as far as I can tell. People die with the dots on them as they're going to teleport. There's a... Wait, what update? What update are you talking about there, Hyper? We have Ost Collegiate? Or is this just a meme? It's a meme, isn't it? So, we have Ost Collegiate, but it's too hard to make teams in Ost Collegiate. Why aren't we leaving? Just hung out for way too long there, for no reason at all. That's interesting, when did that happen? What was the Hanzo problem? Uh, the toggle thing would fire full charged arrows. Instantly. So, yeah. 
Also, you're probably better off playing Orisa here just so that you can actually make people come to you on point. If you're going to play, like, Diva there, you have to stay as far away from May as possible. But if they play together, you are going to be fucked. You don't have anyone there to help you for those short range bursts. I demand you make the team hyper. Wait, what you need do you go to? Do they have it? Wait, do they have a uh, 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 an Overwatch team at your uni? Do they have like coaching staff and shit too? Don't have enough people from my uni interested in Overwatch. That's fucking cooked, mate. They have a league team at least. Surely they have an, uh, a League of Legends team. Basically, the issue with my uni. What uni do you all go to? That is apparently that terrible. I feel like if you angled your matrix towards the fucking wall before that came off, you would have actually eaten it, but oh well. Rocket League, CS, and Valorant. Interesting. Well, you killed the pedal platform. I get what you were trying to do there, but it was a bit of a risk. But it's cool though. We got over there. Uh, the, the wife lever, the wife lever, not the fucking Arissa. All right, good. I'm gonna say, surely they have League of Legends. It's just not a draw, pal. I feel like you didn't... I feel like you left this way too late. At least you died, though. No one is bothered, sure. This is Zeph. Young Zephyrina. You can tell Hype is very adamant about this because he's in caps now. You go Macquarie. Okay. I mean, Macquarie's a big enough campus. No one's going to find you, bud. It's not like people are going to walk through the campus yelling out, Hype! <laughs> Can it trigger during the TP or not, though, KJ? You'd do it? Of course you'd do it. You're a strange individual. Oh, so you just mistimed it. And I was right. What you do you go to, Akima? You're in Sydney, are you? Or you're in Queensland? KJ making me question everything because he's bad. You're in Melbourne? Bro, how do I always mess that up, Akima? To be fair, for the longest time, I've, I thought that Akima and fucking Hyper were the same person. Because the big thing is that when one of them was here, the other one wasn't. Now they're both here in the one chat, so now I can't be so sure. No. It's always taken that sort of stuff with you. Pulse bomb would explode during it. It takes too long otherwise. Just want to play win and be coordinated with people. Hyper, do I have to make a team for you? Is that what's going on? We're going to say, you don't need to make it any weirder by fucking running in like that, but it's cool. It's a pity you're a tank main hyper. I would have gladly played tank on that team. Well, 
We could be the O Spitfire. We just play Reinhardt comps all the time. <laughs> Cool. I gotta be honest with you, Mr. Reinhardt and Jaya, I've got no clue what's going on in World Cup. Whatever you're hoping is going to happen, I will agree with it. But truthfully, I've got no idea what will really happen. As far as I'm aware, Korea will win. Like, Korea and the US would be the two major teams, etc. But how are you going to know otherwise, right? The straight answer is probably not. Yep. You think China will win? Sure. Is there a reason for that hyper, or is there something happen? Oh dear. You know that shit that's not supposed to work, but it does? That's definitely it right there. Everyone was so, like, interested in what was going on with the fucking... <laughs> with the... the bomb, they forgot that the fucking... that <laughs> you were coming up behind them. That's a good Hail Mary, I'll give you credit for that. U.S. look boomed, all right. See how different it is when you actually use your missiles in burst range, like in close range? Actually scared the shit out of that, Arissa. Break. Very free. The Sombra, the Sombra, the Sombra. Doesn't even matter if you trade the mech there. If you actually get the Sombra there, that's free. Alright, she died. Are we going to start spamming an angle so we can actually get the fucking... It took so long to get your mech. Never mind. They trickled. They trickled hardcore. What the hell happened there? They actually took all the time to try and get onto high ground and then they fucking trickled in. Crazy talk.
You can't. You can't defense matrix a brig, bro. Go for that! What are you doing? There are three people on point! Kill the- The other people on the point literally can't leave it with any sort of movement ability at all. It would be insane of them to be able to walk off the point. Is it actually holding against the... Wait, 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 Way too high. You send it cruising way too freaking high. Dear Lord. You needed to be able to fall down. It happens all the time. There's no way that with your with your current team comp being that you had Reaper and Moira, it would be so hard for them to actually come off the point that quickly to fucking force a C9. But all I'm hearing there is source, trust me, bro. Forty bucks as well. Do you know where the better way to spend that money is? Right here. On me. No boy, good today. Get shit on. What is a Pecora? Good lord, a sixer. Virus is a one shot through window. If hacked or just in general. But it's kind of funny though, just very slowly coming towards you like the the steamroller in Austin Powers. Oh yeah. Sounds tasty. Hacked or not doesn't matter, sounds hilarious. The impact would get amplified, wouldn't it? I always believed the impact was would be amplified. Impact would do, yeah, it would do double damage. I mean, that's what replays are for, KJ. You can go watch it. There is a lot of misinformation going on here. So I'm glad you did the engagement right this time by just dropping down and then flying out. And now you've spent your dash going straight at the Zarya again.
Yeah, falling engages from high ground are how you survive because you need to be able to dash out to prevent this shit from happening. Like, hang on, I'll go back just so everyone understands what I'm talking about. So, when you're... Ugh. So when you're on here, right? We'll go back slightly more so that you can actually see where the payload is. So when you're on this lip... Ugh. You want to understand, right, that it's obviously very unsafe for you to just dash down the old-fashioned way onto point. So the idea is that you want to try and just fall down. You just want to walk off the edge and just engage the old-fashioned way. And then as the pain gets a bit rowdy, you just fly back up. That's all you really want to do. It's as basic as that, right? The main thing you have to understand, though, is you want to land on an angle that makes it easy for you to not get immediately bulldozed while you're in the air. So you want to fall on the opposite side of where, like, their tank is, Right? So if you fall on here and go towards and then go towards the DPS and stall so that people have to start uh, sort of encroaching around the edge of the payload to come and fight you, then you're fine. But if you immediately land down right in front of Zarya and she's, able, and she's capable of actually getting that charge off of you, then of course you're going to get fucking melted. And that's what you don't want. You want to try and just find a way to do that and then be able to re-engage around the side despite it. So, yeah. See you, Hyper. Don't forget, you can wait all the time in the world and then just spend everything when they actually... Um, when the timer runs. That's all you really have to do. I don't get why we weren't ready to matrix that. It was literally right there. They were just running straight at you for that exact reason. It's fine to take the death here because all you have to do is just kill them before the end. We have alts for that, so that's fine. Oh, true, KJ. Yeah, it'd be a bit hard for them to win against that. <laughs> Real this time? Okay, bro. I believe it. But yeah, at least with your, with your DV, you're not like overzealously charging into things too much, but you do start getting very impatient over the course of this game, and that does start to really hinder your ability to actually take good engagements. You need to keep that patience you had at the beginning of the game, and you just need to just master the drop engage, and yeah, you'll be right to go. You're actually doing a lot better on D.Va, like, for that purpose alone. Um... Zarya was fine, but you need to just understand that that shield is going to do quite a lot of, like, quite a lot of mileage for you if you are not just, like, parking yourself immediately in the middle of everyone's shit. Like, it's very easy to just use the cover to your advantage, but if you keep wasting shields on other people and you're still standing out in the open, you gotta, like, figure that out. Uh, yep. Yeah. 
but that's the thing. It's it's your you have to get in front of them so that they have no choice but to shoot you. Like if you just walk at them ominously, then of course they're going to like figure out that that's going to happen. But like the main thing is that you actually can watch them take shots at you, and it would be very easy for that to happen. If you think overthink it, you're just going to make it worse. There are very easy ways to manage it. All right. Thank you, Zeph, for the sellout. I'll see you again soon, I'm sure. <sighs> All right, Nico, let's go. The Body Shop Bandit hath made a return. We've got that King's Row action. This is Diamond One. Diamundo Uno. What? I'm trying to get Genji Hanza games. Why would you do that? What is this? This is an Anna. I mean, it's, do you think it's going to be any different if you fucking play Hanzo and miss every shot, Zef? I see we've gotten the mastery of Healbot Kiriko, but you're not realizing that your Reinhardt is full health. Stop about to say, start throwing a kunai at something, bro. That's good. We got rid of the purple. What is your other healer? It's a mercy. Where is your other healer? Never mind. I just realized you have an eagle duo. That's very unfortunate. <laughs> Who in their right mind names himself Brazzafrags? Like, dear God. Zaf, I'll put it to you this way: if you feel, if you still feel the need to spam media with like people reporting you for for your below average plays, if you put that same amount of energy into actually just practicing properly, you'd be going up in rank. Nice. I would feel a lot better about this gameplay if you were actually doing any damage. We're spending way too long just on the back foot not dealing damage to anybody. Probably. Well, enough of the half assing. Just fucking go practice. Hate that shit. That was a Suzu moment. Come on, bud. Come on. You had it. I believed in you, Nico. I believed. Uh, they, if there was anyone nearby that they could have TP to, I didn't really like pay attention on their behalf, unfortunately. This is a few too many ultis to spend, but you know what? At least it stopped momentum, so we'll give you that. Where are you going? If you're trying to change characters, you should have jumped off ages ago. You have taken way too long with this. You should have just jumped into the hole. Is 
I don't I really don't understand why you switched to Moira though. Like what value for that? But he didn't need to change to Moira. That's that's the confusing part. Like, I don't understand why like why he needed to do that. Like they just killed all of their momentum just to like just to run back and change characters? To what end? I don't understand. What, like, what, why do that? Like, Mans really didn't want to win this game, apparently. We do a little bit of the trolling? I mean, look, yeah? Just spray lightly. He's not taking enough damage to warrant you holding it down. Not not during armor anyway. You can just apply the hot and then apply the healing orb and you'll be fine. Nice hack. Moira is terrible for this comp. It's good throughput healing, but that's all it is. And it's just plain silly to want that. Especially if you do shit like that. It's probably just to show off the Diablo skin. Like, we get it, bro. You like Diablo. It's cool. I still haven't played D4. I'm not spending that money. I enjoyed D3 a lot. For seasons, etc. It does get mildly repetitive. Don't do this again. Your job is not to worry about who's behind you. That's Anna's job. Your job is to help the front. If Anna dies, then worry about turning around. But for now... Like, your job is anyone that starts engaging along frontline. And adding to that by doing stuff like this. Obviously mildly better than the way this is going on. But you know what? This is okay. I've seen worse. Owned. A yo? Oh, no. Uno Memento? What is that? <clears throat> Hang on a second. We have a raid? What is this? What is this? What is that? What do we have here? SVB with a raid of 16 people. Thanks, man. Wait. It's a League Enjoyer? And an Overwatch Enjoyer. Wait, is that the actual SVB? Is that like the SVB that like does the stuff? Yo? For real though? Not very good at like identifying people through uh, avatars here, but that definitely looks like the guy. Yeah. Whoa. Dota. Dota? You're a Dota enjoyer now? Oh boy. <clears throat> well. <laughs> um, thank you? Yeah, I've, I've like, I've like tuned into some of those uh, interesting streams about uh, like with all the things going on. But thank you. That's awesome. 
Thank you so much for rating, my friend. Uh, yeah, so hello to everyone that came here from SVB Stream. I'm Rec. I do coaching. I'm a, I've am been coaching for 12 years, coaching since the beginning of uh, Overwatch. I like doing coaching. I like helping people. So the great, yeah, the great debate. Yeah, I remember a couple of those. So yeah, thank you, SVB and Co. for the raid. You're all fucking awesome. Hope you're all sitting in to enjoy some uh, some goods. So, yeah, if you have questions or what have you, feel free. I'm just going to continue uh, reviewing this. Yeah, I do free coaching on stream here. It's like streamlined versions of what I offer as private stuff. So, like, if you're into, like, you want to get better at the game or what have you, you can join the Discord. You can look at my website, rec9.net. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just, I feel like a deer in headlights right now. I've not been, <laughs> I've not been raided in a... <laughs> <laughs> quite a long time and i'm still uh yeah remembering that's a thing thank you thank you all that's cool that's so cool means a lot all right i gotta go back because i got distracted by the uh the raid noise the ulti is good to combo here which is fine i ooh. Except you do have to worry about Doomfist getting around behind you, which is kind of the weird thing about you spending Fade prior, but now oh well. Can't be, can't be purely avoided. A lot of these issues come from you putting yourself in that situation in the first place, though, because, like, you are very much going to be stuck... Oh, here we go. We're back to Kiriko again. You're very much putting yourself in these situations over and over again. It makes it very hard for you to actually win these fights. So, you know, we get around it. Really got to pay better attention to Doomfist's position, though. You keep, like, teleporting around trying to, like, help your friends, but you got to pay attention, like, who else is going to, like, mess your day up when that happens. Actually get some damage out here, which is good. Except we're trying a little too hard to, uh, to duel in close ranges there. Better off just teleporting out. You, like, you don't want to be caught in that situation where, like, someone can actually run on you. You have to be able to teleport out. That is a good ending. I'm still mad about the point two, uh, int, though. Like, if, you, if, you're de if you're that desperate, right? If you're that desperate to change characters, you jump. But you don't want to kill your entire team's momentum by running away for that entire length just to do that. It's never worth it. So, yeah. Not the worst first half. Hoping second half looks a little bit cleaner. Big shout out to the army of lurkers from SVB stream. You're all fucking awesome. Thank you much. Thank you much, Lee. You're all fucking great. Yes, I'm aware I swear more than the average streamer, but you know what? It's just because I'm Aussie. Yeah. I wanted to swap off Genji today, but Mercy res me twice in a row. Too bad. Get good. <laughs> yeah, there is a side gate you can come out of there in case you're wondering, but it's fine. There's a drunk rat trap there next to you. Junk rat trap. Please don't walk into it. Please kill it. Bro, someone's going to walk into that trap momentarily. It's going to fuck. It's okay. No, it's not. <laughs> Why? 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 Why do people keep fucking walking? Why does no one look out for junk rat traps, man? You're supposed to be diamond, Nick. Come on. Nick, please. I, I believed. I believed so hard. Ugh. The pain of it all. Now, you should be sticking on that high ground area where Anna is as well and just trying to put out some pressure. Like, it's nice that you're healing, but this is really isn't your job. Like, a lot of this is supposed to be covered by Anna here. At the very least, you should be, like, enabling, like, a push forwards by hurting, like, the enemy team. But we're not seeing any aggression here. You were literally... You have more of a chance of healing someone at full health right now, and that's not enough. There's no benefit to that. Like, the more you keep putting yourself on this angle without the ability to actually shoot at the enemy, this is the, what the back foot looks like. Like, you have to be at least up here or at least along this line so you have the ability to actually catch people 
when you've got the opportunity to DPS. And just so we're clear, your tank is full health, everyone else is fine, and fire is too far away to care, so just start DPSing. Like, you're going to be at a standstill for three hours if you don't actually, like, try and turn the fight. Well, like, I keep tell, I tell everyone, and since you, you folks are new from uh, from the raiding party, you get to, to learn something today. I tell everyone, we live in a three and a half DPS meta, right? You've got your usual DPS, and then you've got your supports and the tank to add that to add that damage as well. If your supports are not adding damage to that as well, they're not they're not doing the whole shebang. There needs to be everything done, and that's why this is such an issue because we've got so much hillbotting going on that we're not actually finding an opportunity to actually turn a fight. Like you're literally healing a full health tank, bro. Like, come on. Even while those heals are traveling out there, you have more than enough time to actually, like, hit damage. You shouldn't be wasting that time. I actually died to martyrdom. I hate it. We finally decide to do some damage. We hit a nice headshot and then nothing. You know what I mean? Like, we need more of that. We need more actual damage coming out, man. We need some more of anything going on there. This is a decent ult because it covers enough area. How did we not get any damage out on anyone else? Good lord. It took that long to get to this point and they actually like used an ulti to, to trade out as well. That's when you know the value is just not going to work out for you. Changing to Moira again. Why do we always end up at Moira? Like I get the other dudes playing Anna and you want to play Anna, but like why Moira? Like, Moira is a nice character and all, but there are definitely better choices. Supports are just DPS stack and heal. I mean, yeah, but there isn't enough damage that comes out from Moira because Moira can't crit. So, like, how do you how do you hope to get, like, enough damage pressure out in between, right? By damage orbing? I mean, that seems nice, but that's not enough. It's easily healable. Good lord. That is quite aggro. Well done. I'll give you credit for aggroing, but like I said, this could have been done on any other support and it would have been okay. Like, the main reason you play Moira over other supports is for the fade. So you can actually get out. Everything else is just throughput healing. Which Ana does better in most cases, right? There are, good, uh, there are some TikTok Moiras out there that are like, But Rick, you play Moira for the damage. No, you don't. No, you fucking don't, alright, man? No, you don't. <clears throat> I say, yeah, the only way you're going to be able to, uh, uh, like, aid in the fight is by being able to shoot orbs forwards. Once you got the payload to about where you were standing a moment ago, you're able to, like, charge off it and start helping. <clears throat> the payload doesn't always have to be moving if you're if there is a fight happening. Like, there, there are definitely things that will have to be done despite that. And you're not going to get wins, like, if you're just hanging out being payload princess. Surely we just send the orb. Oh, okay. Did we... What a fucking mess that was. But at least there was en enough alt trades to make me not worry about it so much, but... I've seen worse. I've seen weirder. It's... Yeah.
Yep, cool. We got movement. Yep, easy. This is very winnable now. Very winnable. This is an attempt. See, the one thing I was hoping you would do is the one thing you just fell victim to, which is literally just copying it in a line from, from the Kiriko. <laughs> the good news now is that they just spent their last ulti that they have available, which means like you know that there will be more coming because that would have been used to build. These are things you want to try and think about as a support, so you know when you actually have the ability to, like, react. Or have, like, abilities you can use. You are healing people at full health still. There's a lot of wasted resources going on here, bud. Yeah, look, an echo copying Zarya is just bloody saddening. We're just going for it. At least that's a good time to turn. So, well done. The timing was good. I had half expected you to actually just cop it sweet there, but well done. I give you credit for that. That was a good turn. It was a very good turn. Hopefully we make it back to point so we can get it. Send it, good. Mildly mad we just don't acknowledge movement out there in the open. I'll find my own path. Can we make it? Sorry, still having the time of her life. Um, why would you pick Kree over there? Because uh, you need a DPS and a support. Thoughts? I think they lost. Yes, they did, unfortunately. Now, Nick, I've got to be honest with you. I think if you didn't completely uh, like brain fart during point two defense, I think this was actually very winnable. Don't get me wrong. It was still winnable despite the fact at the end there, but a lot of it just came down to just a lot of really flippant uh, decisions around your positioning. The amount of times that you got caught out by just a stray headshot because you were standing in the open, deadline, like, towards the fight, of course you're going to end up dead. You have to really just utilize the cover, or at the very least be vigilant enough to, like, try and use the walls to your advantage. The whole thing with Moira is that you can send the orb out and literally just, like, hover behind that corner without any problem at all. If you keep doing all that, like, insane shit by just hanging out and doing that over and over again, then, of course, you're going to end up losing. Because you're just hoping every single time, you're just going to keep hoping that things are going to change within the next fight. And that's not going to grant you any sort of like freedom to keep doing your thing. If you want to try and win games, right, especially at this elo, you have to actually be able to consistently affect change in fights by using your abilities, right? If you're going to have to do that as Moira, then obviously the only thing you really have available to you in those fights is just purely using healing orbs effectively, right? But in between that, you need to be able to dish out damage or dish out like any sort of like helping hand via that. But Moira doesn't really come equipped with a lot of utility, just survivability and just constant throughput.
Which is why, like, when you were playing Kiriko, you at least had the opportunity to at least get those picks, but you were just never finding yourself with an opportunity to do damage because you were always off-angle to your teammates rather than to the enemy. And there's no other, like, way in between that you're going to be able to do... You're not going to be able to do, like, any sort of, like, turnaround damage. Would you say you prefer healing all weather damage or because I find myself preferring that? Just so we're clear, right? There's no universe where you should be preferring the damage orb unless your team is, like, insanely ahead in a fight or you have an Ana that is just, like, coked out of her brains healing everybody. You still... You always want... You always want the ability to heal whilst doing damage, not the other way around. Because the healing that you don't have to apply is the reason that Ilyari is very good. Right? You can literally just put the pile in there and then just start shooting to your heart's content. Right? If you do it the other way around, it's not how it works. If they ever create a support that literally is Torbjorn with a healing gun, then you're going to have problems. Because it will not work out for you the way you want it to. Throws out a damage turret and then goes off and heals people. It will not do shit. And if anything, it might be over buffed to a point where it'll do too much, which is its own issue. Yes, but the... It's not literally... To like, I literally just said what I said, and you go, hey, here's the opposite thing, but it's actually Torbjorn. No, it's not. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> the pylon is a healing pylon, not a damage turret. Zef, quit huffing the, the, the coat for a bit and just figure it out. Can't You can't huff the coat like that and expect it to go anything better or worse. Anyway, thank you, Nico, for the VOD. Apologies for the mild distraction during it. There was some flashy lights and some people in the chat it was very nice. <laughs> Either way. Thank you much, Lee. Let's go on the next one. <clears throat> All right. Invader. Invader hath returned. Silver 4 DPS. Is this the console one? This is console, right? That console life and help. Silver 4 DPS. So far action. We'll be back with more fez. More fere. Uh, Invader, you're up. Silver games are the best. Sure, man. All right. Invader on Sombra. Purple tunnel slowing down at WPM. I can fix this and more. Uh, how about just taping it up? Five, oh, here's on the table. Four, three, two, just taping it up. Are uh, icons visible yet for points? No, they're not, are they? Damn it. It'd be so nice to, like, be able to see so you can actually play posture around it, but I can't see it as a spectator. It's the most annoying thing in the world, but at least you've got the right idea. Except, uh, we're just hanging out. Off angle. New Sombra skin in the store. Don't care. Tell you what's always in store. Rex coaching. Smart. You should be... If you're going to hack someone, it should be the Mercy. So that it prevents it from flying, and plus the dot will actually stop it from going anywhere. This is a bit confusing. Hang on a second. I need to see something. I just realized this is, the first, this is my first time reviewing the new Sombra, and I just want to see. Something's not right. I need to slow this down slightly the next time you do this. Sorry. I'm only slowing this down so I can see something. Yo, am I insane, or is there just... Mercy's affected by the virus, right? It's, it's, is it really that fast that I can not even, like, 
I can only see it like escaping her hand, then it immediately hits her. That's fucking crazy. Very fast projectile indeed. Because I, I, there were people trying to tell me that you could miss this fucking thing, and I feel like that's almost impossible. But dear God, like, it's basically fucking hit scan. I don't think so. Like, what? You can't miss this thing unless you're just completely aiming away from the target. You can from further away. Yeah, but you're not supposed to be playing from further away. That's the point. Like, if you're still, if you're playing any further than the usual range on fucking, um, on this character, it's sleep darts, but yeah, but the animation for casting, it's way faster. Like, he can literally just combo straighten a virus off of the thing. I thought it would take... I thought it would take too long. That's why I just said, you, know, you don't even need the hack cast. But truthfully, like, you might as well. It's a fucking luxury. It's an absolute luxury. Like, he's not even positioning that great. And he's just freely picking off anyone in the back line because he's just hacking straight into the into the virus combo. There's no way. Like, any, yeah, dude. Every low elo player is going to fucking hate this. There's no way. Even if he reacted and flew away in time, he wouldn't have been able to do shit. Just fucking cop it. Yeah, but to be fair, it's still... I mean, this is the same shit that's going to happen all the way up to Diamond, though, Brad, at minimum. Look how easy that was. No, I, dude, I knew that. I was never doubting it for a second, Sonny Era. At all. At all. But people are like, no, nah, man, it's not going to get nerfed at all. It's like, I... I definitely see low rank players complaining about this a lot there's no way like anyone that's like remotely capable you literally can't miss the virus bro it's impossible to miss and if you actually are shooting around the chest neck area like you're just gonna fucking melt people bro rig is a good counter probably you're gonna swing at the air every time because she can't stealth around it I like yeah invaders positioning is absolutely ass terrible right yeah virus does 100 damage it does 10 on hit does 20 on hit if you're um if they're hacked but even then 120 to start like to, to do is fine but 120 alongside getting nailed in the fucking brain with a bunch of bullets man <laughs> gonna get melted bro gonna get absolutely freaking melted even just body shot damage amounts are actually insane. There's no way you couldn't at that point. Damn, this new summer seems like the very thing everyone didn't want. I mean, yeah. Unfortunately, hacks just still going to piss everyone off. There's no fucking difference about that. But the thing is, if you made some, if you made it into a utility spell rather than a damage spell, would she still be OP as shit? Probably. Where are you? Where are you throwing that? You just hoping to go stealth in mid air just for the sake of it? Because if so, I get it. But even then, was there any nerf? Um, just that. Just they removed their passive as the main one, and they nerfed their ulti quite a bit. The ulti does less damage and takes longer to charge. Which you wouldn't see here because Invader doesn't know how to press Q, so... Or whatever the button is on console. The translocator not being activatable when you want it is fine, but the fact that it responds so quickly when you yeet it just makes you into Walmart Tracer, but with some... With the ability to blink upwards. The fact that that's possible, though, is still kind of nuts. It's nice to know that Sombra players still don't fucking reload, though. Apparently, this is some epidemic. No, you can't put down a TP anymore. You just throw the translocator and you yeet yourself to it immediately. Like that, as you saw. How far does it go? Uh... As far as you can throw it for 0.25 seconds. And the travel speed of it's much faster than it used to be. So what you're seeing there is essentially like maximum. When he throws it straight up, that's about as far as you can go. You can just shoot that, bro. At any point. There we go. 
that's that's the distance. A little bit further than Genji Dash, yeah, that's probably a good measurement to work with. EMP and virus leaves whatever they mean. It leaves the if you EMP then virus, it would it should kill Widow, right? I thought it was 180 damage, not one, uh, not 170. Is it is it 180 or 170? Or am I just wrong and it's 160? No, wait, it's a percent. I'm a dumbass. It's a fucking percent. It's the same for everyone. <laughs> it's the same for all of them. It's a percent. <laughs> Skazi just made my brain melt for a second. I'm like, it would be a melee for everyone. Of course, it's a melee for everyone, bro. That's the whole point. It's a melee for everyone. It puts them down to within a melee for everyone. It is a melee for everyone. The only reason it instantly kills Tracer is because of the fact that her actual base health pool is too low to outlive the virus. That's the whole thing. So everyone literally lives on like within a melee's worth of health, but you should be at least shooting your main target no matter what, which means that all, the majority of squishies will die to your, uh, to your EMP combo, assuming you actually hit your shot when you come out of it. So you come out, you EMP, and then you throw your virus at the person that you're trying to kill... And then as you're falling down into that shot, you kill them. That's how it should be working. But yeah, Scars, you just made my mind melt for a second. And I almost forgot that it was a fucking... That is, is a percent health damage thing. This is nothing new though, Invader. You get used to it. You will get used to it, or you'll have a psychotic episode. One of the two. Let's get back online. Unless it gets cleansed or lamped or shot once by an Anna Bullet or Bat Bullet or Mercy Beam or Kill. You shouldn't be falling down into melee. You should be going for the shot. Because if you actually are hitting the shots and doing enough damage, you will go right through the, like, at least a heal. Maybe you worry about wife leavers, like, tree or something, but even then. Like, y'all are just relying on this idea that, like, you know, people are going to react fast enough. But EMP would disable pylon, so it wouldn't matter. This is actually how I played Sombra before the patch. What, you weren't using the setup at all? I can't tell if Dr. Bread is actually trying to advocate for Sombra or against Sombra being good. I can't tell. He's got the combo pretty much nailed down. You play Tracer. So? You destroy Pylon before EMP anyway. This is true. You probably should. I think you were detected, big dog. You'd, you'd still play Trace a Sombra Dive. There's no reason not to. Or like, yeah, like, maybe you play Sombra Genji. Did you actually miss the virus there? Uh, Tracer? Man, Invader, if you could aim, that would have been two easy kills. That's purely a, uh, that's purely an execution error. Carry the virus. Even the best weeb in the world couldn't like react fast enough to hit uh, to deflect that at close range. It would have to. It would have to pre-deflect.
To be fair, though, KJ, like, even with that in place, right, like, the whole point of escaping is less of a thing when all you're trying to do is just do split DPS. Like, if you just go, you get on one target and your team gets on another target, like, that is more than enough to actually force out that sort of fear for the enemy. That's what you should be thinking about. Detected. It's almost like you walked into the other Sombra and didn't notice. <laughs> Oh dear. You shouldn't be starting with hack. Ever. In the in high rank situations. It's not worth it. If you're literally like you walk up to him and literally just plant it right on the side of the head, the virus, there's no way. Because even if, and then even if you go for the hack, right, your hack will come off, like will will work, and then he won't be able to deflect, which means Genji would have to like either choose between hacking, oh sorry, between deflecting or shooting at you to stop the hack, and if he does either or, his gamble is immediately wrong, so that immediately becomes its own problem, right? Miss that feels bad. If you're doing it at fucking mid-range, maybe, KJ, but there's no way. Even the best Genji in the world literally couldn't turn around 180 instantaneously and deflect. Not even on a 90-degree angle could he do it if you actually did it at a, at a good enough distance. You could. Fuck off. <laughs> you're on that misinformation kick and a half, and I'm not having a fucking bar of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even if even if you were the, the marvel of modern medicine that you are, right, KJ? Even if you were, like, fully cured of every ailment that you were sitting on, you definitely couldn't have done it, ever. I def could because I'm built if Sure, man. I'm sure those high gold tracer games are enough to tell me otherwise. Built in an unorthodox fashion? Yeah. Made of copium and shit ideas. Y'all are just, like, fucking cornering the market on it. But, yeah... Should I send in a summer game of mine to show how fast it is? I already am aware how fast it is. I just, we just watched it. And the dude's silver on console and you can see how fucking fast it is. I mean, definitely want to see more somber gameplay so I can, like, you know, make a proper thing about it. But the point is that, like, I think people are seriously just, like, way, way, way over, like, People are overreacting, for one, but in both directions. It's like the fucking, like, Sombra mains are just coping out of their brains and the average low rank player is coping even harder. It's like, dude, there are definitely ways to combat this on both sides of it. Fucking don't lie to yourself. Dear Lord. But yeah, Invader, biggest problem right now. I get that you're trying to use your translocator to get, like, aerial stuff. But I'm telling you right now, because please just stop putting yourself in a position to have to do that. And just start flanking more. You just spent way too much time just running through the middle of the fight going, Ah, oh, yes, I have invisibility. Oh, I've lost the invisibility. I will I will reclaim my invisibility momentarily. Please, please let me <laughs> keep my invisibility. Uh, flanking from above? Hell yeah, man. That sounds like a brilliant fucking idea. A TPI was actually really good for cancelling some ults and getting frozen. No, that part's fine. I'm not fussed about it, but he's using it as an escape, and that's definitely not how it works. Can't play Overwatch 2. Every game is somber. I hate that hero. Too bad. Oops, hit escape again. My bad. Um, let's see. Thank you, Invader, for your VOD. I will see you again soon. All right, Trash Lord. It's the fucking Trash Lord. Silver to DPS or tank? Hang on. Tonk, Tonkus, the Tonkus Badonkus. Oh fucking Shambali. Ugh, ugh, ugh.
I mean, yeah, KJ. That's kind of how most ranks work right up until the end. All right. <sighs> Went into the hog rework and it'll be all hog for a week. Hell yeah, better be a good rework. You need the Sigma skin? Why? What are we blocking there exactly? Yeet! Straight at nobody. Blocking the ghost? Bro! Halloween patch is real. You can't keep your shield out there for nothing, bro. No one's even fucking playing by it. Come on. You got the right idea on flicking out, but again, your timing is awful. Nice kill, though. You keep randomly throwing out your shield and it's getting broken. You're not pulling it back. You got to understand, it's there to block shit that's coming at you at the time. Reactive shield. No weirdness. If you're worried it's going to go down, then fucking get near and use your grav suck as well. And Reinhardt's not your target here at all. I'm even more confused that your Genji keeps getting killed by the Reinhardt. You can clip the payload there, feels bad. Absolutely gross, Puddles. That, you used that way too late, Trash Gent. Should have used it way earlier. The suck. Well, at least he was nice enough to run in and die. You should have kept the you should have kept the rock so that you could have killed Mercy with it. Good. I flicked to what? Come on, man. I'm not entirely sure you want that darkness at all. Waste of the barrier again, and now you're going to get shattered for it, but at least no one's there to follow up, so lucky you. Yeah, this is PC. Actual decent use of the barricade. Now pull it soon. There you go. Now send it again. Yep. Perfect. What spam should look like. I mean, he's easily going to react to that and just block it every time. Put the barrier down. Stop letting the barrier waste, damn it. Didn't even move off to the side properly so you could knock him down. If you're so worried about hitting the boulder, can we try and hit literally anyone else at this point? Because it might actually be like a better time to go around it. You're craving obligatory. We got two yesterday, KJ. What do we need more for? Why would we ever need more? Cool. We got a kill out of it at least. Nice rock. That's more like it, Trash Lord. You love to see it. He actually waited with his rock for the mercy instead this time. Craving obligatory Hollywood. All right, I'm looking for a new mod. Meg is now banned from the stream. I'll submit a Genji bot, everyone will love it. Are you sure about that, Akima, mate? Mercy deserves the rock, true. Initialized. 
We must swat all the flies. We stepped well, but we didn't put the shit. If you put the shield out at the same time you stepped out, you could have saved your teammates, but that's alright. Average icon world fan, true. Shield out, shield out, shield out, shield out! If you put your shield out to block the corner there, you basically guarantee that no one can re-engage or snipe you, but that's fine. Not for the typical reason that true though. Wait, why? A wholesome mercy asked you if you were autistic. What? What? What do you mean? That was a nice rock. Can we get some shields out? There's like this heightened chance that you're going to get randomly sniped again and I hate it. Yes, I'm aware of that, KJ. Thank you. Shields out for the boys. Amen. Snipe. Nice snipe. That was a good waste of an ult. Ugh. That's more like it. Just dunk on the nerd. That is a terrible, terrible, terrible ulti. And you wasted the shield again. At least you got a trade out of it, but man, you got to be so much more careful with that. Did I start early today? Technically, yes. Compared to yesterday, I started very early. Oh, okay, cool. You got to watch where you knock them to so you can be ready to actually hit that. Goodbye. <laughs> but yeah. I didn't have high expectations, so I'm not disappointed, but I'm rather just annoyed about the way that you're using your shield. You're just, you're either leaving it out or not activating it at all. There were drops. There are drops, yes. That's how cool I am. I do drops. Yeah. Coolest coach that ever lived, boys and girls and everything in between. I still wish that I could get the fucking benefits of, of drops by actually streaming, but apparently you just don't. So that's pretty fucking sad. You get $20 for a Q skip. True, but when did that happen? Because I haven't seen you give up any money for that. So, many of between low and mid rank tank, the ability to flank because you know, there's some other voodoo. What voodoo are you referring to, and what mid rank are you referring to? You know, if you actually hit that second punch, you would have had more time to hit the last punch and you would have gotten three kills. You're trying to play fucking TFT. Love to see it. Jungle is a bit broken, but they fixed the, the thing up, so that's fine. Zef, that is the biggest bullshit I've ever read in my entire... Are you fucking kidding me, bro? The game has never been about top lane. The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, literally never. Jungle has had the most impact for the longest time in the game. You can't snowball this either. That is a lie. That is a giant lie.
It's almost as if ganking like actually wins games or something. Also, if you ulted this earlier and were actually involved in this fight, it would have been okay, but I don't understand what you were trying to do here. If you actually were meant to do this earlier, you would have been okay, but you waited way too late for this. So, yeah. Bit of a waste of an ult. He did cancel it as well by mashing, which makes it even sillier. There was an attempt, but you all got melted anyway. Because nano visor. Good lord. That's how you should do it, Invader, but I was not going to see that happening at all because of how far away he was from actually making that fight happen. Mm. Yeah, um... Darkness, can you reiterate your question from before? about low and mid rank tank. That's complete copium, Zeph. I get that there have been changes made to jungle this patch that make it slower, but I mean, you literally can just gank even harder no matter what and just win lanes. You can still do your level 3 clear despite that, and it still enables you to win a, like, to win a lane for somebody. Akima is definitely huffing some shit, and I want it. That Melbourne Kush. Please just combo, please combo your melee into Annihilation, I beg you. Nope, he just went straight for it. Straight for it, chat, but it's okay though. We got, um, we got the fucking goods. Be so glad for that, Kiriko. Or you can just, well, that, now that they've fixed the Shaco thing, you can play Shaco. Still good. You can literally just play Shaco. And I mean, hell, you're in bronze. You can play whatever the fuck you want, bro. It doesn't make a difference. Man's just, like, ignored what I said and just kept, like, coping about the jungle. <laughs> I wish new games were good on release. I, I heard Lies of P is very good on release. I like that you're suddenly playing this very well, but I don't like that you're playing aggressive when you don't have your melee form available. There we go. Oh no. Nano Moira? Nani? To be fair though, like I still struggle to like find good reasonings for some of the flank flank air quotes plays that Jumpy Lion does. When he when you're literally like trying to play for a comp that literally wins by running up the middle. The funny thing is the whole point of the of the current jungle changes is to make you go for a scaling like comp again. It's like the whole fucking point. So that's Copium again. That guy wasted his ult. Even better. Now no more in you meta. True. That was almost a kill, but he missed the shot. Feels bad. There isn't a reason to play jungle when Samira exists. Eh, I guess. 
Lucky day, they got this really cool thing called ban systems, and you can just ban them. I'm just glad they're removing mythics, true. Not bad, Trash Lord. Not bad at all. I expected way worse, and I was happily uh, surprised. So, you know what? Well done. You've got to stop panicking in close range with your aim, though. There was a few too many missed punches and missed, like, uh... I'm not going to say what I was about to say there, but miss shots with Sigma. You got to like figure out a lot of easy ways to do it. This map is an example where I feel you need to flank, especially around second point. If you're trying to go, I just want to put this out there, Nikki, right? I'm just going to say this. If you are on offense and you try to go through this area as a flanking route, you're doing it wrong immediately. This, this whole area is like, you have to delay flank so hard here. It's such a coin flip taking this fucking route. It's so bad. Just play main and let your DPS do their thing. If you're fucking going over there and baiting people into fighting in this area, you lose immediately because this is a choke you fucking do not win through ever. But yeah, Trash Lord, you will never like, you, you won't progress if you aren't comboing your shit together, especially your punch combo with your ultimate, you need to just remember to use that. Other than that, though, it's pretty solid. Pretty effing solid. On Sigma, though, the shield waste is way too high. You didn't even use your gravity grab at all for anything useful. Just understand that. I take a billion damage walking up the stairs. Just so we're clear, you're going to get murdered on the other side anyway. At least against good players. Like, yeah, sure, you're in low mid rank or whatever the fuck you call it. It's... Seems reasonable, but there are definitely better ways to do it. I get that also you're a Ryan enjoyer and you want to play the game like that. You will not win this point without snowballing in general, unless you play either a better tank or you use the payload as cover. And if you don't use either of those, then well, you've got more than enough problems to deal with. But I mean, it's bronze Zeph. Like you have to play better by default and you weren't doing that. We like, we nailed that down in all of your VODs. Like it would be a very different situation if you were actually doing better than you were, but you're not. Rank in any video game tells you how many mistakes you can get away with. I am so scared to watch that video, Bacon, that you've just said. What is that? I'm scared now. Come get some. Yeah, yes. Sated. Tier 1. 67 months. Baus. Absolute fucking Baus. 67 fucking months to this beautiful boy, man. I gladly don my bin and enjoy my emotes. Thanks for keeping the dream alive, bud. You fucking rock. Thank you so much. Two two months away from the nice number. You love to see it. <coughs> Pardon me. You mean to send a leave? Do you actually play League, Akima? Like, and do you actually enjoy League of Legends? Truthfully? Does anyone enjoy League of Legends? I mean, no, obviously. But do you actually play League with friends that in somewhat enjoy League of Legends? Yeah, friends too. Do you play with friends as well? Oh god, I've just I've just like hit all the sore spots for Sonic Euro. <laughs> yeah, then what happens, Zeph? Hmm? Something forgot? You got it to CS2? I've been meaning to start it. I downloaded it yesterday, now there's another gig patch. Fucking hell. Can't seem to escape the patching sated. Is it fun? Maybe I'll have to jump in with you for some games at some point. Late night CS or some shit. We play today. That sounds like a decent plan. I play with friends, but not really. I used to play more than I do now. Okay, because the idea is that I need to find some people to play League of Legends with, and I'm going to start, like, just fishing about the community at this point. Actually, perfect. What time did I? Pa I don't know. Um, Keep in touch. I'll figure it out. Yeah? Excited? We'll figure it out. Hit platform on both my accounts. Now I'm stuck again. IDK seems lost. Uh, send VOD, Darkness? Yeah, smile. 
I'm willing to play. My friends are only available at fucked up times. I said, well, define fucked up times because you and I literally played fucking aim trainers at 3 a.m. the other, like a couple of months back. And I still haven't recovered from that apparently. So you let me know. D DM me on Discord. We'll figure something out. Okay. Wait, we do leave. Yeah, we've always done league VODs. It's just that we haven't got as many of them lately. If you're a league enjoyer in my chat, we're trying to do fucking league roast too. You know? So if you have league friends, bring them here. Please. I'm in dire need. Let me know when Crohn's is being an absolute c I mean, sated. It's Crohn's. It's always an absolute cunt. But, you know, we'll figure it out. I think I'm I think I'm home alone tonight, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ape shit, have a bit of fun. Gonna go crazy. You know? But yeah. It is Crohn's. But yes, if you have league friends, please bring them to this community because we need more league VODs to do on stream. All my regulars have literally much just Uh it appears we have lost Icomworld and now we have Aldersbron. Was it Adlersbron or Aldersbron? I missed it. Shit. Either way, this is uh, Dr. Bread. Dr. Bread. Dr. Brot. Young Dr. Bread. Funny because it used to be the other way around. Did it? I see. I thought I was going crazy, Scarzia, but I, it was the other way around, right? I right, can't. I said you wanted me playing my main. Right? You're a Rengar main. God help us all. <laughs> Those bloody Rengar mains. No worries. Thank you, Dark Strife One, for following. You rock. All right. God gives his goofiest fights to his silliest soul. Just fucking amen. One of those watch guys was there wasn't enough people to submit. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, that. Yeah. To be fair, though, the only reason Overwatch coaching was fucking dying is because the game was starting to suck majorly. The only reason, like, the only reason League of Legends is essentially dying in this community is because people suck. <laughs> Not because of, like, the people in my community. It's because, like, the ranked is so much more toxic now than it was back then that, like, people just can't, like, are struggling to play the game. No worries, said all the best, mate. Whoa! Why is Ash there and why isn't she dead already? You know what? I'm going to pretend that that didn't happen at all. And I feel sorry for you for that happening, Dr. Bread. Because you just got absolutely fucking canned. Absolutely canned. People actually like double shield. No, no th those aren't people that you're referring to. Good movement, terrible aim. Stop aiming at their fucking kneecaps, goddammit. You're not a mafia boss, you're a bloody Overwatch player. Aim for the chest neck. When you're in situations like this, you shouldn't be trying to fire at range. You should just be trying to zip through to somewhere else. Like, just literally to zip through, find another place to go, and then start fighting. Those people were AI, probably. Probably not through the middle, so you don't end up in shit like this bit better that's more like it or I would have committed to that that's fine got the kill anyway well done those cheeky factoids love to see it do not stick do not stick do not stick just kill him just kill him what part of do not stick wasn't registering them what I don't know how much you Darkness, I'll put it to you this way. If you're still whining about the state of your games, then obviously you haven't been roasted hard enough, then you should be sending in VODs by default. If you actually are finding the time and effort to whine about the state of your games, then that either means you're either A, not practicing enough, or B, think you're beyond it and, and definitely deserve a common roasting. So, something to be sorted out. Nice melee. Definitely could have done that faster. I just one trick soldier during that match. It's true. It's the, it is the life we live. 
Can you get a health pack? Just so, like, I don't have to be too worried. There we go. No, don't... Stop giving your position away, man! You can literally have flanked there for free if you didn't give your position away and just waited for them to go past. There's a wall there. And you keep jumping and shooting at his kneecaps. Stop it! You're not LeBron! Or, like, any basketball player of note. Fucking hell. You were an Anna player in double shield meta. R.I.P. You heard him. Going for the full-fledged flank without giving ourselves away this time, I hope. My VODs are still on your YT channel. Why wouldn't they be? Brad, I'm sending you to Vaxter. You don't, you can't even seem to turn into your, into your DPS. You just keep get, like, just shooting straight ahead. Oh dear. It appears we have upgraded our pain into weep form. Double shield is cringe and unbased, indeed. Dude, did you go from gold to masters through this stream? Akima. That's fucking crazy, eh? It appears the whole enemy team has decided to just die on your behalf. Isn't that fun? Bread, for the love of God. Bread, I could actually bet against you ever hitting a shot at this point. The dude, the dude just teabagged in front of you, bro. Just. Oh, I'm having a fucking aneurysm. I actually just witnessed that. I actually could have just yelled out that I would give him a hundred bucks if he hit a shot and he'd still miss. Double shield was so fun. Alright, Invader's banned. I have a plat say that was super sick. 360 shutter from the top row, so an ulting soldier, but I probably lost the game with that waste of shutter. Yeah, it probably did, but I bet it was funny as hell. Top 500. True, you did make top 500. You boss. The roast has done good. Oh! Oh! The world's greatest accident. I say so he's stuck there and you don't have dash because you spent it to get up there. Why, did, why can't you just wall climb to get up there the old fashioned way? I hate it. I hate it so much. Dash down. Yeah, perfect. Fuck it. The roll, dude. The roll is so fucking. Oh, the roll is so pain. Not as painful as you missing every shuriken on a fucking tank, though. You, you earned that death. You were in there for too long, and you just fucking copped it despite that. I go back to the top of my I don't want someone to break. True. I believe it. Goodbye, world. Uh. You actually could have won this point three times, and all that's... It's just... Oh. Point's going to end before you even get on there because you're not going for the flank route. Wow, that was painful. Now, why is Dulkitsu timed out? I'm sure there's a good reason. Let's have a look. Oh. Oh. Why did you ask for it? <laughs> I mean, hello, Kitsu? Why did you ask for that? You want to hold high ground for the first half, 
And then you want to hold deep for the second half if you can hold high ground on one side with an off, off angle. And so I hope there are people clipping in this stream. We need more clips for bacon. Oh, bacon. Yeah, bacon. That's right. We've got bacon. We've got bread. All we need is an egg and we've got a good roll. Where's that brain fried egg guy? Plan to win or expect to lose. You're on call with him. We need an egg for this sandwich. We've got the bacon. We've got the bread. Just need an egg now. Weird hold. I mean, he's going to jump off. It's not the worst hold. Just for the early poke with disrupt, it's not the worst. Off angle, slide out. I said out, not towards him. I mean, yeah, but I wouldn't call that remotely healthy at all, KJ. You're going to inflict yourself with the pain of one tricking Ryan soon and making you watch my failures? Sure. You seem to misunderstand though. Why would that hurt me? If anything, I'd be laughing at your pain. You understand that, right? <laughs> Healthier than bread, TB. I think both of them are a loss at that point, KJ. If you want to hurt Rag, just play Wife Lever? Yeah. Might need bands in Overwatch. If they do it the same way they do the siege bands, it might make sense. Problem is though, it'd be a little bit too easy to just ban out very specific comps. Because you just take out the staple point from each one. They did very briefly, it went away very quickly. You did get stuck, yes. And yes, I remember hero pulls. Why so many hero changes at this point, Brad? Are you trying to figure out what to do or what? Oh wow, you're telling me you can aim on Sombra but not Tracer? That's crazy. Just play Sombra forehead. Hmm. 
I mean, you could have just comboed with the virus. Why didn't you just hack the Junker Queen? That was free as hell. You could have stopped her ulti from going off. This is kind of what the the loop looks like. What he what he just did there, you just appear behind someone, hack, and virus if necessary, and assuming you don't miss, you will probably kill them within about twenty bullets max by just the sheer amount of spam, and then you just fucking throw throw your translocator towards Narnia and just get out, rinse, repeat. Hello, Adrian. How you doing, mate? I feel like that missed, but I couldn't tell you for sure. The amount of mercy plays you've been abusing hurts you a little inside. Why? Great. Well done. Been a while. Has been a little bit. Hope you're doing well, bud. Sway just virus the floor again. You know their pain. I don't know. If you, the fact that you just added yourself as a mercy main is your own problem. I think. I gotta be honest, chat, it's actually really hard for me to tell whether or not you hit your virus on somebody. I'm kind of just assuming based off of the damage they're taking. Like, the purple is not as easy to see as I thought it would be. Like, yeah, and it sounds a bit difficult because I can only hear myself talk at this point. <laughs> It's very, uh, it's very hard to tell. <sighs> no, for nothing. I gotta be honest with you, Brad. I don't think you should be playing Tracer anymore. Does that color change with colorblind settings? Probably. I don't use them, though. <clears throat> it needs an audio cue. It needs, like, some sort of sound. Or at least a, a, a more prominent um, a more prominent purple about it. Because if they're hacked and they're virused at the same time, the colors just overlap. There is an effect. It's a very faint purple from what I can tell. But, yeah, it's not very visible. Yeah, but I say it's way too low to hear it. Does Lucio heal stop? But if you amp it, we'll definitely override it. But yeah, it definitely needs to be louder. Can it be suzu'd? Yes. <clears throat> it is a debuff, therefore it can be suzu'd. <clears throat> so, Brad, uh, yeah, I think Tracer is uh, very much moving out of your thing because you're too busy aiming at people's kneecaps when you're playing because of all of the movement, dashing, etc. that you're doing. You will have a much easier time playing Sombra at the moment because you seem to be actually doing the combo quite well. I think, just as a note, I would really, really recommend you just try to pick out targets a little bit better and stop putting yourself right in the middle of the enemy when it happens. You're just putting, you're setting yourself up to get collected by like any random bullet that comes out while people are fighting the front lines. Just try to like, try to position yourself so that it actually means they have to turn around and actually hit, like want to turn around and hit you or else it just, just heightens the risk of you getting killed by nothing. Oh. All right. Oh, yeah. If you're on the flank, 
please don't expose yourself by shooting unless you're actually going up for the fight. Like you're just randomly shooting at people for no reason. I have two wolves inside of me. One is Tracer and the other Sombra. Look, just let the Sombra one win. Just let the Sombra wolf win at this point. It's easier for you, especially if you want to win games. And also back to Vaxter with you for the love of God. Just more aim training is necessary. Arjun. The return of Arjun. Can you believe it, chat? Also, those who do name Timo on the enemy team, that is funny as hell. All right. Young Arjun, the aim lord himself. What is he now? Hang on. Diamond four. He's getting there, chat. He's going to be master soon. Again, rather. At least when he figures out what to do with his setup, because he appears to have gone cross-state. This game was terrible for you. Well, I mean, yeah, you're not playing on your real setup, so it's kind of a misnomer to send it in. But, you know, it's always fun to watch you cop it. You're in that zone. you got to go find that zone again and uh, keep it handy. <sighs> Part of me just wishes I had Arjun's ability to aim. With my brains, I would be just fucking dandy. But if this was my base point for aiming, I'd be very happy with it. Can definitely sense the rust, though. There's definitely a bit of rust there. Too much ketamine for you, mate. If you want that damage boost, you should very much be popping in the healing pack below yourself so that there's no risk. Laptop screen lol. I think, I think we just got to wait till you go back to uni for a proper VOD review. <sighs> a lot of these misses are just purely by, uh, purely by execution. Uh, it appears we forgot the payload. Deary me. Deary me. That is unfortunate. Look at him dance. He dance and he dance and he dance and, and we do nothing for three years because we dance and the payload princess dance and this is very. Yeah. You have a full stack? What a nerd. <sighs> Fucking Arjun, this is an attempt even for you, bud. Why won't you on high ground for that? Like, if you're going to use your ult, why not be on high ground? Why be... I get you were going for a flank, but it's too easy for them to cut you off. It should be from up here when you want to ult. This was the right spot to do it. That's worse than most of you. We will find out momentarily, won't we? Class finishes an hour early. That sounds like a very happy Friday indeed, Hyper. Nice melee. Well done. Spin. Oh. If you actually just jumped down to the side instead of jumping like just falling down, you would have been right by the health pack and you could have just taken it. But you just angled weirdly. I'm pretty sure if you just fell instead of jumping, you would have been okay. But you did the big silly.
It's big bad Arjun. <sighs> You've made a terrible comeback. Look, I've seen worse. Oh no. <laughs> That's the enemy, May. Yeah. Oh, look at the door changes. Love that. And they made worse by you running through the door, apparently. Oh no, the May got you again. <laughs> oh man, you are copying it sweet. I did 10 push-ups yesterday and was happy about it. How the Miley... Why, why is 10 push-ups a bad thing? Explain to me, KJ. When I was young and less dead, I could do 100. Yeah, when I was young and less dead, I could fucking bench press a car. So what? Unfortunately, like I, like I said to everyone else, man, I was created with a handicap because I was too awesome. And unfortunately, that's just, that's just how it goes. We're building despite that, bud. I mean, the first part of the ulti wasn't bad, but it doesn't... I don't get what you're doing, Archon. You just forced it again because you're like, ah, gotta try, gotta do something, and then that's just what we got stuck with. Rec was too cool, so the gods cursed him with his bald. Hey, nah. Nothing to do with the bald, mate. My guy just gave up at the end. He just fucking ran straight into death. He's like, yeah, I think this is it. It's a privilege to have such a beautifully bald head. Damn right. Damn fucking right. I am beautiful. You are goddamn right, chat. Bald head is magnificent. Magnificant. Magnificant. I'm gonna bask in its beauty and see. You fucking what, mate? <sighs> Wonderful light reflector. Yeah. If you're here at the beginning of the year, you remember how bad the fucking light was in here. It was painful. You definitely cannot fry an egg on my head. The boldness is due to extra testosterone. Amen. Should have just ran the first time when he got in on you, but it's fine. We hang. We go for that duel to the death. I've seen tougher spots. 
strongest ult in the game. Based on what? It would be, if, if anything, it would be Kitsune. If it's just purely for what it gives, it would be Kitsune. hell was that ult? Man, if I thought your ult was bad, that Genji just fucking overrode that, didn't he? Even despite that darkness, it still does more than any other ulti on its own. Like, you asked me what the strongest ultimate is, like, on its own, it would still be Kiriko ult. Because despite that, it still is amazing. All of your ulti so far have been absolutely wasted, Arjun. I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> Having said that, I still don't use it. Fuck, it's surprising, isn't it, KJ? The rust is real. The rust and the not playing on your own setup, yeah. It shows. I don't know why you needed a reminder of that, so maybe it might be time you just figure it out when you go back to fucking uni, yeah? I mean, yeah, I suppose. Critic, I swear yesterday you had one extra one in your name and now you have less ones. Cool. The rust is real, Arjun. Seriously, go back to your main... Uh, go back to your main... Um, like set up and back to Vaxter and uh, you'll be just fine. It's not stupid, it's beautiful. Amen, Hyper, amen. It is quite beautiful indeed. When are you back at uni? Because I expect the VOD when that happens. All right. Raya. Let's go. Young Rhea. Also, Argent, please stop forcing, like, your... Just the need to just fight that hard into the enemy like that again. Those ultis were so bad. They were so freaking bad. Just don't force it, man. You know what you're doing. You don't need to fucking go that hard in the paint. All right. Bronze to Sombra Enjoyer. Bro's on your ass when you go back to uni. Hey, I just I just need him to bring better VODs in. I don't I know he's gonna Oh yeah, by the way, stop with the ketamine as well. That's just about that's fucking stupid, bro. Stupid. Stupid. Have you tried turning it off and on? Alright. Alright, yeah, people can still hack fucking health packs. Never happened. The K hole is your I'll give you a K hole, mate. Hey yo. <laughs> Hello, Noxious. How you doing, mate? You have to hit that virus way earlier, and you have to hit it like. 
you want to just make sure you're mashing on the same target. Like the one from earlier today, right? If you watch both of them, both of those volumes will make your life much easier. You do not need to hack that. He just dies. You can turn right. Maybe not with that crappy mouse pad you're sporting, but you know, you can turn right. Hacking old packs feels you. So it definitely doesn't have the same spark it used to. Just because there's like, you're just more involved in the game now. Setup is way less necessary. D stealth faster by hacking. I mean, it, since you can like pop both of them one after the other on top of each other, it's not really a huge issue. You don't need to hack t turrets at all. Also, I swear you're just holding crouch when you come out of thing. Also, I'm really finding it hard to believe that you're actually getting value from hack and virus when you're not actually fucking using them together. Or at all. Yep, just accidentally virus the tank instead of the Moira. If you walk into that, oh my god. Yeah, he's hacked. I put virus on him. Cool. Finally, we finally got a combo together, which is lovely. It's a giant, like, waste. Well, see, the funny thing is, right, if you open with hack and then virus, then, like, if they try to, like, attack you, you will still be able to throw virus at them and they won't be able to react a second time. So... But if you if they try to react to you using virus by using a defensive, then hack will just bring them out of it. Unless it's like May. And even still, you wouldn't try to do this to May by default on either side. So you can do either or. It will, they will both work just the same. Well, we've done a couple of Sombra VODs today, and, like, it's very clear and, and obvious how easy the combo is to do. So it would be mildly annoying if people just stopped utilizing it effectively. Free. No, if... Okay, my point is, if you virus first, you don't hack at all. You just virus and start shooting him in the head. But if you want to go hack, then virus, and like, because there's no guarantee about whether or not you're going to kill them despite that, then yeah, sure, go ahead. But everything else you were doing with Sombra originally still matters. People were just a little bit too reliant on trying to hack despite that, and that's the most annoying part. Yeah, it does, but even still. Even still. Like, you don't need the hack to make the virus good. You don't need, like, the, the faster ticking of the virus doesn't, like, doesn't make or break it. It still does good damage, and you still can shoot them, right? But my point is, you have choices, and you can, like, you can bait out abilities from one or the other if you know that they're going to react to you in some such way. How do you get a Mercy Parker to stop? You don't. You don't need one. Why would you want one? You're mine now. Also, who, why would you hack these health packs? No one goes anywhere near these health packs. Seriously, why? There's no need. No one even goes that way. There are literally, like, inside doors ones that you can take. Yeah, that was bound to happen. Bro. You actually win that fight if you aim better. Which is crazy. Now, that was never possible before. I say, no one's ever seen those health packs before, right? I think the Transicator rework is a great improvement when it comes to fighting against Sombra. This is true. But the funny thing is, Sombra can now effectively outduel almost anybody if she gets a uh, hack on them. Or, But even virus plus headshots equals death in most cases. Like, it's very hard to beat Sombra in a duel unless you burst harder. If you're going to hack these health packs, you've got no idea. No one goes for these health packs. This is just ADHD right here. You running off to like do this thing as part of a loop, it's pointless. 
It's not used to the binds. You can change them. I'm just saying, you can change them. TP into hacked enemies many times. Change it around, Hyper. Seriously. It's what I did on Cass. I've literally done it ever since release. I can't fathom fucking grenade being on um being on E. So I changed it ages ago. As in only having two abilities? Change them anyway. So that you don't press the button. Smile. Why do all three... Of, look, all these three maps suck, but what are you doing? Like, I need you to understand something. If you're going to hack any health pack on this fucking point, why aren't we hacking these ones? <laughs> I don't understand. If you're going to hack a fucking health pack, at least hack the ones that are useful. Not the ones that are in fucking Narnia. Like, <laughs> like what? who's going to find those health packs? No one's going to be able to run out there at all. The fact that that actually hit is hilarious, but again, it was so unnecessary. You did not need to hack Torby on there at all. You could have just shot him. I did, but now I'm still doing... Oh, man. There's no saving you then, is there? Oh, bro. What is that sense? Just fucking doing spins. It feels right to do. What, to hack someone on 30% health? Why? There's no opportunist anymore. And you would have and you would have done enough damage to kill them despite that in the time that you were spending channeling that hack. What if Torbees? He had used it already. It was visible. It was seen. It was seen as being used. And even still, if Tor if you're gonna fight three people in the back line without backup. Would you really, like, be worried about that in the first place? Because you've already got enough problems of just being there. Free kill. Look at that. You hit one bullet. One bullet total is all that was necessary. Oh, man. We've really got to hit that virus. It's annoying having to consistently punch when you are Pele Princess or so. Why? What? Mercy clutch there, hey, amen. Auto stealth was pretty funny. Oh right, yeah. But I'm pretty sure you stay out of stealth when you're alone on the cart, don't you? Really? That's hilarious. So just randomly... Can, can you like randomly C9 if someone stops shooting at you? Wouldn't that be funny? You just fucking just dance around the point while they're ch while you're getting chased and they just fucking... Just like they go to reload and it just makes them fucking... <laughs> I, I doubt that's possible though. Right? They're like, they're like reloading and they go to throw their transicator to the other side to like get at you. So they, so it resets and they just come off the point and it, and it C9s them. <laughs> That's kind of busted if that happens. Funny as hell. Whew. Hey, look, an actual hack that's worthwhile. Love to see it. You punch the cart while you're out of that to come out of stealth on the point. Wait, why didn't you just go for it? This is like the one time where I thought, yeah, just hack the turret and then you can just walk on the point while everyone's there, but we did nothing. Interesting. If you aren't using your brain, so basically most of you, smile. The Hashimoto's calls. Why don't you guess this? 
at your place. I have a feeling we're going to get along. Like I don't have a brain to use. Well, then there you go. Yes, I saw the Hanzo bug. It was very funny. But I believe it's been fixed now, which is good. This is like the week of buggy ass patches. League's one was even worse. So much buggy shit, bro. I don't get why you just keep hacking the most meaningless shit. Actual good hack. Well done. We have literally completed the world lap right now. At least someone killed someone on your behalf. He walked out of range. Oh my god. Also, I don't think virusing the turret works, so, uh, yeah. I swear the average Sombra's impact goes up insanely with this fucking change just purely because most Sombra players just can't aim. But they can definitely do hack into fucking virus without even pretending and then hitting half of their shots at least. It does work on deployables the same as people. Okay. It's a bit hard to tell because I can't see the fucking animation. So, yeah. It's a fucking nightmare, bro. Don't trust me because I keep being wrong. God damn it, KJ. I'm gonna, have to go, I'm gonna go and read the wiki after this just to double check, but I feel like you're absolutely just fucking lying to me again. Virus should make the turret hit its own. Oh fuck, that'd be nice. They really have it out for me. I believe it's true this time. It's, it's too hard to tell for sure, KJ. But I couldn't, I couldn't see the fucking purple on it, so it's very hard to tell. Virus doing 120 damage. Sombra only has to hit 13. Uh, only has to land 13 body shots to kill. I'm about to say, I swear it's less than that. Because of the change to the ammo. Uh, the, the bullet damage, yeah. It's like 10. Technically, it's 9. If we, if we don't assume that they randomly heal in between, it's not 8 damage a bullet, it would only take 8, but like, you would expect a, a heal to come in by then. So... Isn't that 8 damage per? No way, it is 8 damage per, yeah. My bad, I read it the wrong way around. Oh, it's like 10 damage on 8, hang on a minute. Oh, oh fucking hell, I'm too hungry to think. Hello, I math good. I always said math wasn't my strongest subject, chat, and well, we've, uh, we've definitely confirmed that today, so it's fine. I'm just tired. I haven't eaten. It's past midday. I'm very much at the end of it, but to be fair, like, surely you're going to hit a headshot, right? I would say less than 10. Yeah, it assumes a hack target, but there's no opportunist anymore, so it doesn't matter. No reload again. Fuck it out. Why do Sombra players suck at reloading, bro? Imagine if, like, being in stealth automatically reloaded for you. That would fucking fit. Like, so many shit Sombra players would just go up in rank just because of it. I'm actually believing it now. If, if fucking stealth automatically reloaded for you, every Sombra player would go up in rank. Seriously. Sombra players just don't know how to reload. That was nasty. Always hack first. Against a ball. You need him to not go anywhere. Bro, that is headache inducing. Hack virus doesn't reload again. I'm so mad. Just reload, bro. Did 
To be fair, they did pick a target. They, they were going for the ball. They just forgot to reload four times in a row. Oh, that's a lag spike. That's them, not me. How's the Harley Pulsicle? How you doing, man? Oh, man. Rad, so much faith. But then, apparently, all Sombra players just absolutely suck at reloading. Seriously, what the ever-living shit. Why, why do all... They keep changing targets even mid-clip. I mean... Yeah. I've seen way worse versions of it, though. You do definitely have to stick to a target, but I don't think it's them actually failing to stick to a target. I think it's just them failing to turn. They're just absolutely struggling to turn. Ball was loving the hack, the lack of reloads. Yeah, look, Ball being able to live longer than he did is just great. All right. I think the biggest issue was just not being able to turn. I was really, really like awkward about the fact that you were just struggling to turn right against a lot of targets, like reverse Zoolander. Um, just remember, hack virus, start shooting. If there, if there's a ga if there's a chance that they can stop you from doing the hack, then just virus and start shooting. Even if it's a bit slower, it's a, basically still a guaranteed kill if you actually hit your shots. You very much are capable of doing so. It's not difficult, I believe. Um, definitely work on the flanking, but I would sincerely, just a somber like related to here, please just stop like doing these outer laps of the fucking of the map to hack t uh, health packs that no one goes to. Seriously, like no one goes to those health packs that you went to on P2. It's just it's maybe like the one just by the the jump pad, but no further out than that. They're insane. No one goes near those. Ugh. Yes, Zoolander. Do you know what Zoolander is, Hyper? You bloody Zoomer. Ugh. Speaking of Zoomers. All right, Akima. This is the determining point of whether or not I send you back to league. Top 500 DPS in Diamond 2. Having a fucking rough time. Better add him in Discord. Akima. Fucking watch point Gibraltar again. Our, our resident soldier one trick chat. Do I recognize any of these names? You're playing on OS, right? Or are you playing on NA with a thing? Yes, it'll get done, Arjun. I have two left after this. Well, he's still a name, Lord. Good to see. Oh, bro, Akeem is cheating. Akeem is cheating so hard he made someone die. He literally just made him charge off the side. He's fucking cheating. It's a long way from here. It is, yes. Ping does not allow it, trust me.
He used all of his aim for those first two shots, Jet. Now he can't hit anything. I don't know why you repeat that. It's fucking... It's Bastion. Hello? Yeah, Akeem has got some plans. Time for higher ground fun. I don't even think the rocket was necessary for him there. Invader, why are you telling us that? If you rocketed earlier there, you would have definitely killed that soldier and ran away in time, but now you've just entered. Entered your brains out and taken Mercy down with you. That's just silly. If I'm still standing, I'm still fighting. Mercy took herself down. She took herself down because she was trying to res your sorry ass. I like how Akima's like plan is like, yep, gonna disengage, take a lap around the world, go set up for next. Copper spear to the face. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that would have given you a heart attack in the middle of the night. <laughs> it fucking woo, woo. That was a spicy fucking spear. Good lord. That was, that's worth what, that was almost worth watching again. It was just fucking insane. They both just aimed that little fucking, like, gateway and you just copped it sweet. It was great. Really surprised you lived there, honestly. Here we go. This is the moment. This is the moment. Yeehaw. A little bit early, but we got there in the end. All those damage boosts is very nice. Pretty sure it caps though. I mean, if you take out like meaningful parts of the team when you do it, it's not even a bad thing. But the big thing is that, like, you want to try and make it so that it's... Oh, I was so close. You want to try and make it so that it staggers really, really hard. Rather than just killing all five of them instantly. Because the more you stagger, the better the time lapse is for you.
rejoice. You know where they're going. Yep. <laughs> I'm glad you saw it. I was worried for a moment that you were gonna like wait until it was way too late. Wow, he stayed in the open. What a champ. It came up. What mouse and mouse pad do you have? And do you arm or wrist aim? <laughs> At least you get the achievement if you didn't get it before. Man, that's round one. Just crazy. Arisa meta needs to end? True. <sighs> this isn't exactly a stomp here. To be fair, right? It has certainly been a while since we've seen young Akima. And this is about what I expect from him. He's making me wish I visor. Just so we're clear, his visors are not great, chat. He's, he's ripping them way too early. Especially with having Nano available. He's really hanging out for that fucking pocket, though. Is that a friend of yours? Or are they just... Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude just fucking watched it hit him in the face. That's rough. Super light using an artisan Heya Totsu. Use arm and wrist. Bro. An artisan mouse pad. Is that the glass one or is that the really soft cloth one? Yeah, show me. What's up, Trash Lord? How you doing, bud? This is so free. I don't see this, like, not being a stomp at this point. Oh, you almost made it. Good attempt, bro. It was very close. Wait, hang on. Did he just get fucking... Wait, 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 wait. Did he just get fucking put to sleep right... Like, did he get hit by that rock right as you went for the rocket? Hang on, let's slow this down. Oh. <laughs> he gets fucking stunned and the rocket goes right... <laughs> Honestly, skill issue? Fucking. Oh. Should have anticipated, bro. That's just pain. That is so. That is so much pain. What pad do you have, Bacon? Oh, are you purely a keyboard connoisseur? No, like, extra stuff.
Get some sleep, Trash Lord, you big nerd. Also, is there actually going to be something eventuating with the school thing? Or is that... Has the ship just fucking sailed on that? GMMK. I'm so ready for this. Three feet by two feet. It's a big one, yeah. Reasonable. That was a that was a fucking effort right there. Okay, where are you going? <laughs> you keep running across traffic. What's going on? I guess they spent the money we raised. Do you, <laughs> do you know what they spent it on? I'm so ready to hear what what that what happened there. Is there any reason he hasn't responded to my messages or what, bud? Oh, oh! At least you had your head down. That's good. Unfortunate about that though. You should have done that ult from high ground though. Instead of jumping down. I don't think he checks Discord often. Right. You throw your mouse pad in the washer every month or so. True. Shaked off. You shook off your own target. Dear Lord. There we go. My boy Akeem are doing fucking work. You risked it, but it was good. Yeah, I actually, like, pulled out when it was bad, so I'm happy with it. Go reload. Get upstairs. Get upstairs, damn it. You want to take this high ground spot before they can drive you off it so you can win this point. Yeah, Overwatch team lost today. That's heartbreaking, bro. Was it close, at least, or...? Look at him go! Look at him fucking go! Uh... Bros, we, we've got fifth. We've got three minutes left. We don't really need to. I'm, I'm, I'm actually losing. Oh, you forgot to reload. Oh no. I feel like if you waited for those fucking buttons to be pressed, you might have had a good time alting now. Now that the fucking the bat bolt and the wife lever alt are gone, but it's fine. We got there at the end. That oh that bad, our trash lot. That's unfortunate. DPS using cover diamond team must be very different from diamond three. Just so we're clear, uh, Akima is top 500. He just happens to be residing in diamond two at the moment because uh, he has not played for a couple of months. But yes, if you ever wanted to know what it looks like to hard carry a game, then uh, yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like there because he actually moved to his spots relatively well. He did it. There are a couple of very strange instances of you crossing traffic for some reason, Akima. I would I would love to go without that, but yeah, outside of that, you did a very fucking good job. There is not a, there is not enough rust to actually make me think that it's horrible. So yeah, keep that up and just stop crossing traffic, and you will be just dandy. And stop repeaking when you're already being pressured, you dingus. It's absolute like horrendous early death that you took for that, for no reason at all. Ninja FX. Four stars. I see. I see. Should be fine to just play on the main. I don't see any reason why not. As long as you don't, like, you know, brain yourself and end up with trouble. I don't see any reason why it would be difficult. 
Just do your usual warm-ups and just keep your head in check. You should be fine. I will definitely see you go for the top. That's fine, Trash Lord. I, I get you. These yogurt cups are great. Not really my interest, but they look nice. All right. Um, funny how when my sub rides that we stop using a vault list anyway. No, it, the, truthfully, it's purely because, right, the only reason when I wasn't using it is because we were actually in danger of just not having codes, and then I got them literally the morning before stream. And I just cannot be asked, like, writing out a VOD queue when we're literally about to start the stream. I'd rather just live in the chaos. So when we get codes over the weekend, I'll update the fucking thing on Sunday and it'll be okay. Yeah, you get top 500 on Switch. It's all consoles, so bad luck. Was my VOD already reviewed? Yes, it's already been and gone, my friend. Has already been and gone. All right. Critic, young critic. All right, so critic is silver three and is still getting the hang of being roasted. I better add him quickly, just in case he forget. Oh, there he is, never mind. It's fine, everything's fine. Hey, look, it's Argent playing tank. Why are you playing tank? <laughs> Arjun's playing fucking tank in this game too. Dear lord. Why is that? Why is that happening? It's like, fuck it, why not? It, which one's fucking darkness? Is that headshot or? We can't have two soldier mains. This is true. Darkness ain't here. I, pr I was promised a darkness. I don't see a darkness. That's fucking... That's heartbreaking, Arjun. Absolutely heartbreaking. I bring good or bad news as well about Electric Boogaloo. True. What What would they be, Mr. Hyper DGA? Also, your VOD's next, by the way. You'll be the last VOD of the day. Switch to support after feeling miserable from playing mainly tank. Ah, well. We'll get there in the end. You can't play after 5pm. This is like 11pm. I like how your friends and you have, like, the most different fucking schedules. Like, Arjun's like, yeah, no, nah, I go to bed at 6 a.m. Seems pretty reasonable. And his mates, like, can't play after 5 p.m., bro. Also, are we aware? Sound cues are in your future, my friend. That echo was right behind you, shooting you the whole time, and you didn't hear it. Thanks for the drops, Rector. Can I get some drops? I need some fucking drops, chat. Echo was a bitch, this game, not going to lie. I mean, look, you counter Echo, you've got to watch where she's coming from and laser her down. You get us instead. Can you guys give me money instead? That would be really nice. That way I feel justified by doing all this work instead of getting the free drops that you're all getting, you fucks. You don't want drops, it's just like voice. Like someone said there was a skin in there. I want a skin. You must have been deaf this game. Do you actually use a proper set of headphones or are they a hand-me-down from Arjun as well? I bet you one side doesn't even fucking work properly. Hey, Rick, just got home. How was my vibe? So, so can you explain to me why you threw so hard on the second fucking point? You realize you were aiming directly on the target there, Critic, and then you started dancing around it without correcting? It's fuck. It's a Faris skin. You don't want it? Rough. Understandable. They are yours and they work. Okay, good. Just making sure. The purple undead Faris skin. It's beautiful. I mean, I like purple undead. I honestly don't remember the game that much. For some reason, you decided after using your ult as Kiriko to run all the way back from mid P2 to base and to change characters, and you actually lost the fight while you weren't there. Every new skin beef for fat. I got no idea, bro. Poe has the most engagement points. Critic, you got to understand something, right? You got to go into like the practice range and just try to practice like fluidly moving yourself and your mouse at the same time. Like actually just properly like moving at the same time whilst you're like doing things because it's not making your life any easy for you. All right. You can fuck right off, nerd. Why isn't that appearing from the fucking... Oh no, it's restricted anyway. Never mind. I lied. But yeah.
IDK, what I'm doing. There seems like a running theme. Also, there's a tire coming out. You shouldn't be walking into it. It's not the light. Do not go towards it. <clears throat> Does restricted mean like everyone else saw it or just the us saw it? Likely ban evader. Yeah, good one. Okay, that's fine then. You're just swinging wide for no reason at all. You gotta take like all of your your knowledge of other shooters and just keep that in mind. You never swing wide. You never like you gotta remember the ABCs, bud, you know? Just the basics. The ABCs apply to every fucking FPS game, no matter what, right? Nah, you're right, Hyper. It's just us. It's okay. Aiming in the right area. Sending that way too far. But yeah, like, you gotta hit the practice range and just practice being fluid. Like that. This is decent, but you gotta stay on your target. You know, you gotta keep it consistent. But the more you keep standing out in the open and the way you're, like, running around like this, it's gonna make it harder for you to do things. KJ's been evading. That makes perfect sense, honestly. I always like wonder, like I'm gonna wake up one day and find out that someone in my chat is someone that just been, that's just been ban evading for like three years, and they just came back and just decided to be like an upstanding member of the community. I feel like that's going to happen at some point, and I'm not even gonna know why or how. It's hyper, isn't it? I actually made the joke ages ago that I believed Hyper and fucking Sonayira were the same person because I never saw them both in the chat at the same time. It <laughs> turns out I was right. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, with this map, because a lot of people are never going to get it. This is something like for when you're more advanced with this, by the way, Critic, but this is for everyone else. You want to understand, right, that, like, Circuit Royale features high ground that is, like, very much extended away from the point featuring those stairwells over there. You want to use that so you can get over to areas like this before fights, like, come to this point so that you can actually cover as much ground as possible before the enemy gets into your shit. Or else you end up with situations like this where you're just standing on low ground getting collected by random spam in the open. Fucking, look at Arjun go. Big Arjun doing the frag. The rare silver echo, true. Echo's still flying around out there as well. Because she hasn't died yet. The Junkrat hasn't died. You can hear her out. Like, you might have heard her out there if she hits fly again. But no one's going to know until she fucking makes it back around. Oh, lordy. I might not hear her now. Good lord. How are we holding here? We're not having a good time, I tell you that much. Please stop, like, please try to hold either on an off angle or on a high ground angle relative to your teammates. Like, you're not, you shouldn't be standing next to your tank here. If you're on here and you're using this pylon, it's cool. If you go even higher and, like, actually use the walls, it's fine. But you got to actually, like, keep safe places for yourself because you don't want to get collected by random things. If you get sneezed on by anyone here, you're going to die. And we don't want that. You gotta keep an eye out for places to go. You keep aiming those rockets way too high as well, by the way. I do love that Arjun is almost a Masters player and yet he insists on playing in the open as a fucking tank. Just, can you just like, think like a proper Masters player, Arjun? Is Castell a decent pick in GM? Uh, he's better now. Roll, you can now roll through Diva Bomb and possibly tra uh, Tracer Bomb too. Your brain can't tank. Just play it like a DPS. Just use cover and just keep people out. It's fine. That's a reasonable death because everyone's trying to hold the point. I still find it hilarious that Cass can roll through a fucking Diva Bomb. You could already roll through trades. Well, yeah, but people sucked at it and people would get killed right afterwards. Now you can actually, like, roll despite that and still win. Because any decent tracer would have actually just stayed with the, the cast to make sure he dies after the fact. Now you're fucked. <laughs> now you're just fucked. Still got some fight in me. 
Sounds crazy for a roll. It's fucking bonkers for a roll. We're still holding on two. 0 0.35 meters. Oh, boy. Now, could it take a spot upstairs here and you'd be good? No, stop that. No. Okay, now it's actually insane. You said we held this actually insane. I'll be like, yeah, well, it's reasonable. But now, no, not so much. Now it's actually insane because you wasted that ult. We do a little bit of the trolling. Fucking twice in a row he's done that. Two days in a row he's done that, unfortunately. It's a little less reasonable. Was meant for zoning? True. Big zoning ult. Stay back. Stay back and peek the corner. Stop fucking running up to the corner like that because you're going to get collected. Fuck. It's just too risky. He was just testing to see if he could kite and silver. Kite what exactly? Eh? Emotional damage. Bada bing. Insane. Sonny, I don't think there's ever going to be a universe where hit scans aren't usable. You know? Because it's hit scan. There's just always a use for hit scan. The legs of Dota play tennis for three hours. Who the hell plays tennis for three hours? That's just crazy talk, mate. What are you, what are you aiming at with that rocket? I'm not active, not nearly as close as I used to be. True. I'm sure whoever was staying in that hotel was very thankful for you sending a missile through the window, but generally, no, not the case at all. Warning shot? Who are you warning, bro? The people in the hotel. Life got in the way. It always fucking does that, eh? Do hope it's all better now, though. The good news here, Critic, is that you're actually raining some decent pressure down. The problem is you're not actually, like, picking a target out and trying to kill it. You're just kind of aiming at health bars that you see on the screen. It's like, oh, there's people there. I can shoot them. That doesn't mean anything. I feel like they would have been evacuated in advance if I'm being honest with you, but yeah. I say this is a decent time to ulti if you all go up together. Until you walk onto a fucking junk rat trap again. It's Monica correct, I don't care. They, are. they would have already gotten their helicopters and evacuated them, wouldn't they? Those smug bastards. They should totally give me more money. Anyone but the tank was my plan. Yeah, but you, the problem is you walk straight into that fucking trap and we can't have that. We can't have that, young critic. Yeah, who's going to pay for my helicopter that I'm never going to fucking use? Hmm? You learn from Arjun? To be fair, I don't think Arjun's walked in a trap in a fair while. Ouchies. Rick, if you got a helicopter, you just sell it. Fucking right, I would. Stop giving away my plans. Mourning the ghost, it's Halloween, so true. I do it many times, I don't send the VODs. That, do. that doesn't surprise me at all, Arjun, mate. Bro, you saw that bomb bouncing towards you. You had no reason to fucking stand there and eat it. That is not the way that it goes. <sighs> he stands there unfazed. Ow. 
Ouch. Have you seen the show called Trailer Park Boys? I mean, I've heard of it, but I've never watched it. Well, everyone died for that. No surprises. Now, do we finally get to a point where you can play at range? Or what? Or are we just going to keep running up and getting eaten by junk rat bombs? Rick, just so you know, I looked through all of my last 10 games to find a VOD where I altered semi-regularly on carry. I did not find one. Should fix that. It's like British Chavs, but Canadian. Yeah, I've heard of it. I, I've, like, I know the premise of it. I just have no interest in watching it. I already watched My Name Is Earl. I don't need any more uh, trailer park business in my life. You know you can react the moment that you hear that chime happening because you know what's behind you. You've got to react way faster than that, bud. You hear that noise, you fucking spin. That's it. I always tell myself just alt the fight, you get it. And then I forget Q exists, bro. The Buttons are there to be pressed, KJ. This is not news. We must remember. We must remember it all. But I didn't even know there was a Sombra. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get used to young Sombra running in behind you. But if you're not even aware of these characters, you shouldn't be fucking playing ranked. I'm not sure that's a good idea either, KJ. An alarm that goes off every 15 seconds. Why would you want that? I mean, you're better off just having one of those metronomes that just goes off every so often just to remind you to check, like, tab and shit. If you needed to do that for you. Arjun walked into a trap. Fucking, he just, he confirmed it, chat. He walked into a junk rat trap randomly. Bro tried to shoot the orb. Look, man, if you aren't there to help him, Arjun, it ain't fucking gonna change. Man's really wanted to kill that orb, alright? It's big, ugly, and purple. What do you expect? This is an okay ult, considering the position we're in. There was still someone behind you there. Bro, like, you've got, you've got all your abilities available, and you just keep walking into it. You keep walking into everything. I've seen tougher spots. Time is of the essence. You still had healing pack available and you walk right into the junk rat bomb. Like just just fucking peel out. You had other people you could kill. See here how you're not aiming at anyone? Like you gotta understand, like all all games and gameplay needs conviction. Like, you need to actually want to kill something specifically. It needs to have intent and purpose. You don't have that. You're just firing into the air and praying someone walks into it. And that's what we need to fix immediately, right? You need to, like, get that conviction in here. You must all be calm. I don't know about that. But, uh, sure. We can, uh, we can go for that angle. <sighs> I support the streamer a hundred percent. Wait, what are you doing? Streamer tells community to recover. Oh, not this again, KJ. <laughs> not this headline shit again. No, I'm not dealing with this again. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. No, no. <clears throat> no way. You are not getting away with this one. Not in your life. You're only a felon. Ah, you'll get into that. But yeah, seriously, Critic, just more conviction and just actually like being aware of your surroundings. 
If you're struggling that hard, just don't play ranked. Just fucking play some quick play and stick yourself in the fucking range and just get used to movement. All right. It's the final VOD of the day, of the week. And naturally, it's going to hurt me more than it hurts you. It's Hyper. Hyper DGA playing... Was it anything that's not Genji is his exact words here? Diamond 2 DPS. So we have a Neuron GM tank trying to play fucking DPS again. What are you playing? Oh, it's the fucking the Three Stooges are here too. Are, you, are your boys here as well, Hyper? Fucking get him in. Get him in. Oh, fucking Sojourn. With both... You have a double support for your stack. Good lord. Good lordy lord. If I was this lucky, man, I'd be I'd already be GM. I don't understand why we tried to face tank that to start off with. You can just off angle and it's fine. You kicked Aiden off tank duties, that's fucking rough. I mean, Moira Anna as a duo is not particularly great either, which makes it even stranger. Aiden doesn't play support. Why, why didn't we just put him on tank? Also, hello, casual. No railgun until you're at least past 60. You clear? Get past 60 beam on the same target, and then you can worry about throwing your fucking railgun off. But till, till then, just fucking just charge up more, because you're not doing any damage. You aren't scaring anybody. You're just dying. Oh, no. I swear if I see a single right-click in close range, I'm going to be very angry. Well, at least they won without you. That's a plus. I said at minimum, KJ. Should have let the wall stay. But if you at least get a headshot with it, it's fine. The wall was okay, but it should have stayed there just to make it so they have to actually walk in. If he's a Lucio player, why is he playing Anna? Hmm? 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 Clearly not right now. Indeed. KJ is disappointed. His main is Anna. If he's the Lucio player, why is his main... You're not, not making any sense, Hyper. Why are you calling him the Lucio player if he mains Anna? And he's playing Anna right now. Because he plays Lucio, true, but again, not understanding why, when it's not happening here. This is good zoning out. Wait, why aren't we killing the mer- okay, good. The fact that you're winning this is hilarious, but I'm still not understanding why, when literally all we've done is just spam the line and have nothing happen. Right. Oh, tell them to play Lucio. It's cool. Yeah, I get you. Is this another stomp? Yeah, they fixed it, Twist. <sighs> Apparently it was fixed yesterday. As long as you also, hello, how you doing? Yes, so we're just accepting that you're a Genji one-trick at this point. 
Oh, that's right, because the other guy's playing Genji. I get it. You're really not really, like, looking at your ammo counter, are you? Yes, this is the last VOD. Sound the alarms. This is your last chance to give me money for the week, chat. Look at me hoping people down. I mean, I saw some hosing. Also, see you dying. <sighs> Go to the league mods and can't see any. That's because I don't have any, bud. We need some people to actually want to submit league mods again. Attack is on hog. He's been on hog the whole time, bud. Young Hyper just not paying attention. This is a death. Good lord. Look at you just face face tanking everything that they have. Double Doom Fist now. Ugh. Man, this is why May is ass. Just trying to play this at this range. Oh no! Oh no! The dude! <laughs> oh no! No! Oh no! Oh, it's all falling apart! Oh no! <laughs> oh wow! That was horrible. Why does everyone play Doom now? All the other tanks were nerfed and they buffed Doom Fist's movement cooldowns. Oh, misses the virus. Sad face. You played Sombra. Oh no, indeed. Oh no. If I played Overwatch, what sort of champion do you think I play? I think you'd be either a Symmetra or a Genji main. Makes it, and then dies promptly. Twas a reasonable attempt. Should I be worried or that good? Ah, uh, both. The answer is both. Nah, I, th I actually think you'd play tanks and probably would play like Sigma or Reinhardt. Actually, basketball person. Not a fan of your home team, huh? Don't put words in my mouth. You really casually helping you? Of course you fucking do. All this nano blading crap. I see what's going on here, hyper. I see what's going on. Nice deflect. That's a chunky rock. The second point was a whole lot of nothing until that end part was just hilarious. Dear lord. But yeah, being proactive isn't like a thing that you're just going to randomly learn no matter what DPS you're playing hyper. Like, you've got to actually know what your limits are. And how to play into these particular situations. Like, yeah, you know how to do it on Genji because you've been spamming him for this long. 
Like, there are some things that will come naturally, but there are other ones you definitely have to put in a bit more time to, because it's very much showing that you're just kind of just trying to do the motions and it is not going very well for you. I'm really struggling to understand how that cast is still alive. How'd you miss that? There we go. Good enough. I mean, you're free to do so, Twist. I'm going to wait for there to be a couple more patches before I accept CS2, though. I don't think... I'm not sure if all the stuff's been fixed yet. Stash. I'm glad you waited. No, I admire the patience. Well done. The fact that you just stared him down for that hot second was lovely. Hit reg is terrible. Yeah, it's. Uh, I've heard it's pretty average. Uh, I've heard there's a Michael Jackson meme that uh, pertains to Counter-Strike 2 at the moment. I think before Overwatch 2 was a Silver Genji. Yeah, but you learned. That's the whole point, Hyper. Like, it's it's a good upgrade for your overall performance. I really enjoyed the, the Genji Blade at the end there. You actually, like, properly, like, handled that stuff there. Hit reg is terrible. No, it, CS2 hit reg is pretty ass at the moment because uh, they did a whole bunch of server tick changes and stuff like that. So I expect there to be a lot of complaints about it. Um, yeah, being proactive is a whole like new world for you when you're lo looking at other characters there, Hyper, mate. You're just trying way too hard to force things that you have no business fighting. And every single time you get into those situations, you just get collected by the enemy's tank. You do not want to be that far forwards to try and like to try and get involved in any of these fights. It's just not necessary at all. You're just putting yourself in danger more often than not, and it just makes things worse. Oh. Alright. Is it more of a character choice with it have weapon of me on trace or stuff? No no no. It's purely if you did this on any character even if you did what you were trying to do there on like Genji or whatever you main generally, you would have entered your brains out. It's just because you're just not registering that like these characters have roles and you're just like shoehorning them into random places to try and make things happen and that's what's making shit worse for you. So try to just keep it consistent by just not getting yourself just hyper invested in the enemy's front line. Off angle. Properly. Like off angle doesn't mean stand in the same spot as your tank is and then shoot at a different person that your tank is. It's, it's standing opposite to your tank and shooting towards everyone else. Overwatch hit reg is bad. I actually have to put my crosshair on them to hit them kind of weird. Not if you're Anna, smile. Anna, you can just put your crosshair in the vicinity of your allies and you can heal them. Isn't that fucking bonkers, chat? Can you believe it? Can you fucking believe it? Overwatch is actually pay to win. Anyway. <sighs> Alright, chat. This is the last chance for you to give me money before the weekend comes. Smile.
But yeah, uh, that is the end of this week's uh, roast. If you're looking to get VODs in for next week's roast, obviously for the free VOD reviews and all that, all you have to do is join the Discord, follow the stream, and go right ahead and send me a ranked code with your rank roll IGN sense DPI. KJ, if you're going to give me your heart, I'm still not sure I'd accept it given how the state of the rest of your organs is going. Not sure that's a very good trade. Thanks for the thought, though. Anyway, and no worries. Enjoy volleyball, Hyper. But yeah, um, if you were enjoying like the coaching that you saw today, I... <laughs> KJ, do you even still have your appendix? That's crazy. But yeah, um, if you are still looking for like for... Uh, private coaching or you're wondering like how any of that stuff goes you can easily find me in my discord at any point in time or you can reach me uh via any of like my means on that if you're looking at or if you're wondering what kind of private coaching i offer rec9.net has all the stuff there or you can find all the information in my discord they're both available there for you contact me anytime if you have any questions want a questionnaire for it, anything like that at all um <clears throat> If you're wanting more content from me, you're not really particularly interested in coaching, but you still like want to support, I would recommend subscribing on Patreon, patreon.com slash rec9. All that support goes into funneling more VOD reviews into the community for free. So if you're interested uh, in that, please go right ahead and support us. We also give a, we give vlogs, progress reports to my students, private VOD review archives, and an access to a plethora of coupons for other coaching methods so if you're interested in that you should go right ahead and do that all those benefits benefit the community so big love to all either way i hope you all enjoyed yourselves today big shout outs to svb for the raid your you and your crew are fucking awesome thank you everyone that came today uh akima let me know how your league friends are going i'm very keen to see if there's anyone that's going to play league at all that in os so let me know uh thank you stated for the subscription thank you zeph for using your patron benefits because you're a champion and i will see you all on the monday if i do decide to stream in between i will let you all know but i have no plans to either way i will see you all soon love you all chat Best to you. Support the rest. Bye-bye.